This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Oh my good god. Oh. 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 Whoa. What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Technical difficulties brought to you by Grim Green. Yeah. Please pause. Hey, oh, hey, there oh. We are. There we are. There we are. Okay. Okay. Now we've made it. You know it. what? You know what we call that on this stream beacher? That's a dangle clack. Yeah, that is a dangle clack. That was a big old honking dangle clack hanging out there all pink and naked for everybody to see. And that's fine. And that's just how we roll over here. But uh, let me do it officially. <clears throat> Pow! There it is. Hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. And as you can see, we have a Mother Truckin' Coffee Drinkin' Mother Truckin' special <sighs> guest here with us today. Hello, guys. It's Beecher. Hi. You know, it's Coil Turd. Hey. RDA for vaping. It's me. RDA for vaping too. Hello. A liquid for tasting. Cherry cheesecake, <laughs> boule bolu, you know, the list goes on and on. It does. Or actually, the list kind of ends right there. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the list right there. But it's Beecher. It's it's Coil Turd. He's going to be here with us the whole vlog until the very end. <laughs> the whole the whole vlog. <laughs> the whole vlog until the very end. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the stream. I'm excited for the Beecher's here. I saw a super chat before we even started. I see a super chat now. We're definitely going to get to those. If anybody has any questions or whatever, if you want to throw them at Beecher, you can kind of throw them at Beecher if you want to. Yeah. If he can see them in the chat. We do have the chat going right here. <sighs> I do have eagle vision, so I can he does definitely have eagle vision. I can see Dude, we were chats. <laughs> okay. Let me explain the eagle vision thing. <laughs> we were at the grocery store not two two hours ago. We were getting some stuff for lunch, rice, cookies, pistachios, pistachios, and the such as. And we are like 20 yards from the sign. And Beecher just sees it and goes, oh, candy, jam, and nuts over that way? I was like, I guess. And so we're walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. We finally get to the aisle. And I look up and I go, I'm like, how did you see that <laughs> sign from that far away? You have eagle vision. Eagle vision. He read it perfectly, and it was so far away, I couldn't even see the sign, much less the the tiny little writing on it. It was the uh, you know eagle vision. the signs above the aisles telling you where to go. Hashtag eagle vision. And it was the last aisle. Speaking, it was the last <laughs> aisle, and we were like in the dairy section. It was ridiculous. Eagle vision. So he has no problem reading the chat. He's going to get every single question. I appreciate you guys being there. I see you there in the chat. The Red Baron's here. Neil's here. Frames F and Janklin is here. JJ, Michael Redfern, Valerian Steele, or simply Richard. Hey, Georgia boy. Hey, bro. Love you. Sick boys here. Mother Truck and Patrick Conquest Pants. Gunny, Barbara, Janine, Tim, an advocate for liberty. I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Coming to hang out. It's the Thursday vlog. We're going to be a little bit winging it tonight. But believe it or not, there's a little bit of like a loose plan in place that I have right here, including, what's that say? Yeah, that's right, Star Wars giveaway. Yeah, we're gonna do another Star Wars giveaway. In fact, <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> oh my God, you're a three sneezer. I'm not usually. I don't know what just Whoa. happened there. I'm that a two, was I'm a two sneezer. I never sneeze two at most. Yeah, two at most. I rarely go into three territory. Oh, it's sometimes just one one monster one monster sneeze. Good lord, the sixty watt guy. <laughs> I see you there. Yeah, look at me sneezing like a crazy person. So we're gonna do a Star Wars giveaway, but we haven't That's picked fair. out a prize yet because it's all in the guest bedroom. Okay. That you're napping in. Oh, okay. So we'll pick something. We'll pick something. Yeah. We'll, tr we'll try and go pick something. But we're going to do a, a beer, of course, what I've been vaping, what you guys have been vaping. We're going to sing happy birthday. We got a retro vaping. We're going to pepper in some news and advocacy. We got some China mail from China. Um, we're going to do a Star Wars giveaway. We're going to have a very random liquid tasting. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a full on. Uh, it's, a full, it's a full one today. It guys. sounds like a full on action packed log to me. In fact, Maybe about halfway through, there's a little, it's like a minute and 45 seconds of Beecher and I's 
excursion to Disneyland on Tuesday. Yeah, we we got something while the batteries lasted. While the batteries lasted, yeah. <laughs> In my UK Vapor Expo video, it, that video, I don't know if you watched it, it's not good. It's not a good vlog. I didn't really film the event very much. I didn't really say very many things. And so I tried to edit it together and it's like four minutes of just turd. <laughs> it's bad. And I started off like with a talking headshot and I'm like, listen, I need to either come to the realization that I don't know how to be a travel vlogger or I just need to commit to it and yeah. like actually think about shooting certain things and being a travel vlogger, right. and like making a cohesive video. So I was like all determined on Tuesday. I'm like, I'm going to do this. We're going to do <laughs> yeah. a great travel vlog. I got it's, a full GoPro yeah. battery. I got a full memory card. We're going to do this. It started that way. It started that yeah, way. Yeah, really good. We were really on it. And, and then, it, I don't know, three hours in, three and a half hours in, I leave the camera in my backpack, leave it on, battery's dead. Like, well. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's uh, enjoy the rest of the day without let, this. Yeah, let's go enjoy the rest of the day uh, without it. But the footage that I do have, I did manage to cobble together into sort of like a, a, a about a two-minute terrible video. It's, it's not. Actually, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's it, pretty good. I it like it. It gives you a little taste of, uh, yeah, you know, gives you a little taste. Going to Disneyland with Beecher and Nick's not like going to Disneyland with anybody else. No. Nope. One thing that we should do, though... We should pop this. Should we get into this? Yeah. Should we do this literally right now? Yep. Uh, so we're going to do a beer? We got some beer. Beecher. You guys know Beecher? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Coil turd? We did some beer shopping. We went and did some beer shopping at the Bevmo, and Beecher picked out this little number right here that is uh, Fremont Fremont Brewing Company. What 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 Seattle drew you Earth. to this bottle? The price tag. The price. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> at, at first, I said, "Whoa, this is an expensive beer." Yeah. And then we looked at it, and we both said, "Oh, that'd be that sounds really good." Yeah, that sounds really good. It's a coconut cacao barrel aged dark star, dark. Star, dark. That's what it says stout? in the front. It's this an is... imperial oatmeal stout with coconut and cacao aged in bourbon barrels. That sounds incredible. What's the ABV on it? The ABV is a whopping thirteen point five percent. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! It's a limited twenty twenty two right. release. It has wax all over it. it it's that's how you know cool. it's fancy. That's high end beers. You know, it's like uh, you high end through the beers. Top. Yeah. They, then the wax tastes like beer. It's like that's not beer true. gum. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> All right, here we Jam go. Jam a bunch of wax in my mouth. Okay. So Beecher's going to open this for us. We got some tulip glasses. Hope everybody has something delicious to drink with them tonight. Uh, no, no, no Bud Light, no Miller Light, no, no light beers of any sort. We don't. That's not a. I don't think there's been a light beer that has ever existed in this house. Just hashtag. Just saying. Yeah, it's an oatmeal stout. Imperial coconut? oatmeal, coconut, cacao, Co cacao, aged in bourbon barrel, aged in bourbon barrel. Let me let me do the honors. For oh, you. you're gonna pour me first. Yeah. All right. Beecher is a professional beer sommelier. Or look at that. that what's is the sommelier dark. for beers? I don't know. And then we're gonna let it go right there. Yeah. There's gonna be no head on this. It's just. It looks like motor oil. It looks thick like it's motor oil. Super thick. Yuck. It's so thick. That's how thick it is. That's how dark. That's how dark it is. You see that? <laughs> huh? Not really. No. No. I'll give you a taste of it. So, what should we expect from this beer, beer sommelier? You're like, I don't uh, know. I oatmeal, just opened it. Oatmeal, <laughs> coconut, cacao, and bourbon. Cacao nibs, <laughs> bourbon. All yeah. Right, here, cheers. Hey, cheers. Yeah, I mean, wow. the first um, thing I get is booze. Yeah. It's real boozy. It's really, really heavy on the booze. Upfront boozy, thick, syrupy mouthfeel. It's more thick than I thought it was going to be, at least the mouthfeel. Maybe it's too cold. <clears throat> I just took this right out of the fridge. We're not drinking it at an optimal temperature. We forgot to take it out of the fridge early. That's the bummer part. Black like Kevin Chocolate Soul. Ooh. 
It's delicious. A. It is. It's it's soft. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm. it doesn't have a bite to it, which I thought there was going to be a bite to it. Soft is a really good descriptor. Yeah. That's a really good descriptor of this. It's soft. It's like fabric softener. <laughs> it's thick though. Like it it's, has a it is it's like a, a hella thick mouth milk feel. The camera was just focusing on the bottle. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it is thick. It's, it's good. It's very it's, thick. I, I don't know that I get so much like toasty coconut, but I get a lot of like that cacao, cacao-ness. The chocolate. Chocolate cacao the roasted, The roasted chocolate. The coconut I get at like once I'm done drinking it and I sat it down and like 30 seconds later, I get a little bit of coconut. But I feel like the coconut's just been drowning in this beer for so mm, long. Mm-hmm. We're losing With a lot. With all the darkness. Yeah. Softly lethal. Uh, it's going to mess us up. It's going to mess me up. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. See, I think it's focusing on your on your beer glass. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's totally focusing on your beer glass. We had so many dangle clacks today. There was like 13 dangle clacks, and I don't want to be out of focus the whole stream. I could see that happening, though. Can you power on a Jeep with that stuff? I don't know, microwave oven. Probably. You could definitely power up a Beecher with it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't want to focus on us anymore. It's literally just focusing on to just the iPad. And then go over here. No. No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We are out of focus. <laughs> okay, hang on. Yeah, we can't. It's just whatever dangle class. <clears throat> it's fine. It happens. This is uh, you know, part of life. Not willing to put up with dangle clacks, then you know something. What about that? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, that's... I'm focused. Yeah, you're on focus. You're focused now, right? I am. You are. I am. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 I'm so much better. Oh my lord, yeah, yeah, so yeah. much better. No, oh, let's wow. see what happens if I put that there. So much better. Yeah, it stays in focus. Oh yeah. There you go. Are you sure? I feel I'm like in we're focus. All out of focus now. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, if you move out of the way, then you're just... okay. Anyway. 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 I don't want to focus on the dangle clacks. I want my camera to focus on our dangle clacks. If you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, so hey, this beer is really good. It is good. Beecher bought this beer for us just for this for this beer beer tasting. Could you drink this whole? The whole bottle. The whole bottle. I mean, I could. Of course, you could. And you'd would still you, be would like, you want to going for it? Would you, no, no. Like to the last drop, you're like, damn, I wish I had more. I don't. I don't know if I'd say I wish I had more, but I would definitely say like, oh, that was really enjoyable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. After okay. a giant bottle of thirteen yeah. percent beer, and it would get pricey if you drank multiple of these. Yeah, it would get. You couldn't. This couldn't be your like your everyday banger. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, in the like in the middle of summer. Like a, mm-hmm. in hot Arizona or hot LA, it's like, oh yeah, Not I want fun. a big, you know, cacao <laughs> stout aged yeah, in bourbon barrels. Stout. Yeah, something just you know, nice and refreshing. <clears throat> just something quick and refreshing. Oh, it is delicious though. It's very good. Yeah, that's really very good beer. Here's the thing: I don't have anything to pair this with. What, do you have a? Oh, that will pair Long fine. Bean? That will pair good, don't you think? I think it'll do better. What are you vaping? I don't know. Like I don't know what to. With. You guys, he has a hundred vapes set up around his house, and he has no idea what to use. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just the way that this goes. The whole uh, whole bottle and the vlog will be hella fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll get through the rest of the bottle. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, we're trying to get all messed up by the end of this. I had a nice cup of coffee. First cup of the coffee. First cup of the coffee today. If that First makes any sense. Cup of the coffee today. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm gonna pair this. Oh beer yeah, I'm gonna pair. That's what you said. With pistachio, I think it'll pair with pistachio. Beecher's pairing it with uh, oat drips mung bean. You zoom in on that, Frank. Oat drips mung bean. How is it? It's not bad, but it's it's Just the mung bean good. clashes with the oh with yeah, the yeah cacao and. I could see the that. Lack thereof of coconut. I could see that. I could see that. What's in the other one? Guava? No, it's the same liquid. Oh. 
Oh, okay. You really like wanna, that mung bean. I didn't want to waste any more of your guava. Oh, that's right. I am. I. I Filled up There's two been tank some fulls. drama about the, around this <laughs> ammo RBA, and I failed on both attempts. So. Failed on both attempts. Failed on the patron stream. Failed earlier today again. Hey, that's okay. The sixty watt guy, Asgard any RDA any good? Yes. The Asgard slaps. The Asgard mini slaps. I just saw that chat, so I felt obligated to uh, to defend the Asgard. I'm gonna try it with pistachio. Do it. It's delightful. Look how thick that beer it's is. Delicious. It just grips, grips the side of that cup. Gripping it. What do you mean, like the lacing? Yeah. Yeah. Dark. It's dark. It's stouty and 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 bourbony. <sighs> That's a delicious pairing. Pistachio, I think, is a good overall beer liquid. There's few liquids I've had in my life like Yig and pistachio. And some tobaccos, like the Bogan Plum Job, is a really good plum tobacco that goes awesome with beer. I hear you raving about that all the time. (gasps) You've never tried it? I've never tried it. I'm going to give you some. Okay. I hear it from you all the time. It's so good. The Bogan Plum Job from Rebel Bogan is legit awesome tobacco. Oh, yeah. Awesome tobacco 9000. Hell, yeah. You need Raspberry Ripple, Lee? Listen, we all need Raspberry Ripple in our life. Raspberry Ripple's amazing. Amatorium Glamma. Um, all right. Well, now that we got a beer sort of coursing through our veins, I want to mention a few things I've been vaping. I don't have a living room video because I haven't been in the living room. I drove home Monday after spending four days up in Santa Rosa. I got home Monday night, worked, went to sleep, woke up at five, went to Disneyland. <clears throat> Yeah, we haven't been in the living we room. We haven't been in the living room literally at all, so all my vape stuff is still in here. Why don't what doesn't Beecher go first? I'll go, Do you first. Want to go first. Yeah, just what, whatever you're vaping. Easy. Yeah, Mine's like easy. I use I use a device. You use one singular device. Yeah, I act, I got this mod in uh Indonesia when I was there last. It's the Torin Max from Thunderhead Creations. Yeah, it's sick. It's white with the white RDA. For vaping V2 on top. V2. The drip tip is from Wildman Tips, Indonesia once again. I've been using this since I got it. And of course, oat drips. Mung bean. Mung bean. Yeah. One of, if not the best liquid out of Indonesia, in my humble opinion. Uh, next to. You've had Lunar Sweet a, Mango. Yeah, but Bule Bolu goes number one. Oh, obviously. Sorry. Yeah. And yeah. then oat drip Damn. mung bean. Oat drip mung bean. But the lunar mango is one of the best mangoes. It, 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 yeah. On earth. Yeah. How far is the gap between that and bule bolu? Is bule bolu like way up here? And mung well, it's number like... one, number two. But if there's a gap in between. It's big. It's big. Yeah. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. But it gives me a break from vaping so much bule bolu. So, I, you know, I'll vape six bottles of this. And then I can't out. vape that much of that. This is bottle two so far. I just got back from Indonesia last Monday. And you're already on bottle two? Yeah. That's a lot of oat drips. Yeah. And you vape six milligram in that. I do. You're like, Kent, don't be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's I've been ha- wanting to do that. It's I've- hard for me to go down to three, though. Yeah, I go yeah. to three, and then I do like flavor testing. Vape- and like, I always test in six. Mm. You gotta test the throatiness, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then I start, you know, vaping six again. Besides but I, that, but the six, the six okay. milligram vape from this here. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about his his vape here. <laughs> uh, it it reminds me the first time I tried it. Do you remember way back in the day, like in 2015, 2016? I think we're all out of focus again because it's focusing behind no, no, us. No, we're good. Oh. I think I have to lean in. 2015, 2016. 2015, 2016, whenever I would vape Kent's setups, Kent Hill's setups, I would always immediately go, oh, that's way better than mine. That's way better than anything I'm vaping right now. That's way better than anything I'm vaping at home. Why does Kent's vape so good? This, I feel the same way about this. And maybe there's something that's just because it's not mine. Yeah. That could be uh. a thing. 
But the six milligram in this mech with whatever build is in here, what build, what build is in here? 27 gauge aliens. Triple 27 gauge cores? Yeah. 0.11. 0.11. It just hits really good and hard, and you take these quick, short little vapes from it, and it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It's better than anything I have on my desk. I don't know what I'm going to do what I've been vaping because that's better. Yeah, mostly you have like <laughs> single coil yeah, or no, boro no, 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 100 okay. well, let's, uh, of the. If that's what Beecher's vaping, here's what I've been vaping. First and foremost, uh, it's the dumb Cali burns that I got last week. Do you guys remember the tiny dinky little Cali burns I got last week? I've been vaping the A3S one like crazy. I don't know what it's called. Guava <laughs> jelly on the inside. Vape it like crazy. Additionally, the Lost Vape has been getting heavy rotation. I almost accidentally took this into Disneyland. He did. Till and Beecher then I heard him <laughs> vaping, and I was like, "Did you? are you bringing that in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you bringing that in? I'm like, oh, shit, I got to go back to the car. Um, but it's busting. It's a great mouth to lung. Uh, the Black Empire with the clear door and uh, the squy on top and Super Lunar Sweet Mango on the inside. Mm. You want to vape this? Yeah, I actually do. My battery's uh, sagging. Sagging battery. Sagging battery. Lunar Sweet Mango. Keep checking. See if we're in focus. Are we in focus? We're not. Yeah, we are. Now we are. <laughs> Why is this Dangle Clack Nation 9000? Right now it looks like I'm, everything's out of focus. I know. I'm crystal clear. You are crystal clear. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. That's well, all that matters. I'm going to keep leaning in like this to keep it keep it in focus damn that's good so good that's the best mango i cannot if you like culotta but it's just there the culotta is just there i feel like the culotta on that is a little bit over the top sometimes now i like it yeah <clears throat> i like it i like I'm it too it just it, sometimes i'm i'm like i get sketchy on like recommending lunar sweet mango i'm like i hope you like culotta it's not that. It's not. It's that a little bad. over the top. You don't think it's a little over the know. top? Oh, I feel like it's a little over the top. Mm. Oh. oh, it's really good though. <clears throat> Maybe it's not that over the top. It's not that over the top. Why did the menthol in this suddenly change? Is this a glitch in the matrix? Did this was culotta ear earlier today? Maybe it feels like it's mellowed out. Have you squonked it lately? Yeah. The squaw you can squonk the hell out of. It just works great. All right. So, and then the last thing I'm vaping, uh, it's it's been this. This has been in my hand quite a bit. It's the legal RDA with the Odin 2. On top of the Odin 2, Amatorium's uh, Glamour Raspberry Ripples on the inside. It's busting. Do you like the legal RDA? Yes. <clears throat> have you tried this? I have, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I tried it yeah, yesterday, I believe. Amatorium, Raspberry Ripple, the Glamour's on the inside, Legal RDA, Bogan Odin. I don't know. I just uh, I, I, I have like a reliability thing with this. I know I can pick it up and vape and it's going to be awesome. And I don't have to worry about it. So that's what I have been vaping. I guess maybe before we get to Assignment America, or before we do what, what before we get to Assignment America, let's check in on the Super Chats. I think I've seen a few come in. This is going to be difficult to read. Actually, impossible. <laughs> but uh, let's try it anyway. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm going I'm to try to do it through here. Oh, you think God. that's going to be impossible? Uh, I don't think it'll even let me go all the way no. up. Will it? No. Damn it, man. You want me to read it from here? Can you read that from here? Yeah. You can read my screen from here with just yeah. your eyeballs? Yeah. Eagle vision. Eagle vision. All right, can you read the first one? No. Well, I can't... I, the name I can't make out, but Slater. I can... It's Slater. That's Slater, yeah. My dog came stomping in wearing a kilt <laughs> while chugging my pistachio delight and screaming 
sick of you. I'm so sick. <laughs> so sick of you. Threw the empty bottle at my head and said, give Grim Green money. And so here it is. Damn, Slater. Gar, I'm so sick of you. Guar. You know that Guar song? I don't know. You don't know the Guar song? No. Sick of you? You ever listen to Guar? Not really. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, I mean, it's not for everybody. They're intergalactic space monsters. I did like do uh, listen through of a few of their albums. Mm. I asked you like your favorite, and I listened to that th- whole thing through, and then mm, kind of like mm. did a couple other ones. But mm. no, it's not like didn't hit with you. No. It's not like a. Well, those yeah. those are Guar lyrics. They okay. like to throw Guar lyrics at me all the time. Probably see it in the chat. Maggots. Yeah. Oh, maggots. maggots. Yeah, I know that one. Next one's from New Wave Dave. New Wave Dave. You want to read that one? I can't read it. My cat said, Beecher loves hot dogs so much, he doesn't even chew them. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate you, New Wave Dave. That's awesome of you, man. What is it? I can see that that's SVK Vapes, but I can't read what it says. Heard a fire truck in the distance, and I do believe the siren on the truck said... Give Nick five bucks. Shit, yeah, dude. We call those the, the Grim Army Patrol. Nope, that's dumb. I wish I hadn't said that. They uh, go around and uh, tell people to give me money. What's the next one? ZD. SVK Vapes. ZD. Yo, Yo, Nick and Beecher. I can read that one. Oh, yeah. Freaking Yo, Yo, ZD. I'm happy to see you here. Yo, Yo, to you. We got Sewer Rug. Yeah, you can read that one, can't you? Well. Not really. <laughs> I can't. Well, Even if I lean in, I can't really see it. Yo yo and salutations. Being a man of the sewers, I know a good turd when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> Let the shenanigans begin. <laughs> yeah, sewer sewer rugs seen a lot of turds. I'm sure many a turds. Not like this. Blessing. Not like this though. Not like a coil turd. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, uh, ZD again, I think. The, no. The great no ZD, oh yeah, ZD again. Eagle eyes plus Beecher equals beagle, beagle eyes. eyes. <laughs> beagle eyes, or beagle eyes sounds like what you would do to something. Like I'm gonna beagle eyes that. I'm trying to think right off the top of my head. Like I'm gonna vandalize. Yeah, it. I'm gonna beagle eyes it. You're beagle eyed. You all beagle eyed. Yeah, all beagle eyed out. Beagle eyes. <laughs> <laughs> all beagle eyes. The great, that's, no, that says the great Seamus. The great Seamus. My next homebrew isn't ready yet. Oh. So this is for the beer fund. Mm. Spent. Hope that ammo's working better for you today, Beecher. It is not. not in any way. He it sat is. here for 20 minutes and rebuilt it, rewicked it. Sounds like he's just hitting a bong. I shoved more cotton in there. Yeah, way more. I didn't thin the wicks out. This is a 70-30 liquid. It's still... Yeah. Yeah, it's still Gurgle Nation 9000. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Ammo. Sorry, Ammo. Listen, I didn't really have that super issue. Maybe it's the chimney. I tightened it. I watched oh, your review. You... Oh, yeah, you did watch my review. Yeah, and then I just did everything you did, and I just can't figure it out. <sighs> it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Nick Devine's in the house. What's up, Nick? Appreciate you being here, What's bro. Up, dude, you know in divine, you know, you know, Nick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got some more. We got another one from ZD. Okay, ZD Beecher. Sorry, folks, we're all out of focus. My brain, oh, you have ADHD <laughs> too. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that's that's part of it. My camera has ADHD. See, we're out of focus again. It's just the backgrounds in focus. Like, look how crystal clear that Cancer Bats album is, yeah, and look how blurry we are. What's up with that? Here, let me try one more thing. Keep, I'm going to keep reading. Keep the reading next one's from uh, ZD as well. Your camera has the hots for Beecher, Nick. Yeah. It does, and then everything else as well, just not Nick. He's used this camera too much. It's sick and tired working. of your abuse. <laughs> telling it to be in focus all the time. And then we got another one from ZD as well. Yeah. By the way, oh, it's, it's Eifer. Eifer. Oh, Eifer. What up, Eifer? You, you just popping back in the chat as a different persona? How am I supposed to 
I trust anything you say now. I'm just kidding. Eifer. Happy to see you, ZD slash, uh, a.k.a. the Eifer. Appreciate you being here, man. And then we got one from Jangles. Yep, having a bussin'. Oh, he Good spelled time. it wrong. He spelled it wrong. No, no. Jangles, he spelled it wrong. He's, it's busting. It's He's hipper than you are, Obvi. You, you tell me Jangles is hipper than I am? That could actually be very true. Yeah, and he said it with authority. Bussin'. Bussin'. Busting. That's busting. Jangles, that super chat, busting. Busting, busting super chat. Busting. Camera has the hots for Beecher. Oh, oh hey, maybe we damn, can get caught up with the. Uh, is that it? Super chat bussing. Yeah, have the, a. That's the end of the super chats for now. We're busting. All right. Hey, thanks you guys. Some busting super chats happening right there. Even though. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna get into some uh, hot assignment. Of <laughs> button and way too loud. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I didn't realize that was the America, You push the button. I know. You know I what button it is. I programmed that button to bow, be the bow, DJ bow, air bow. horn. Yeah. Super way loud. too loud. Way too loud. DJ Max. Sorry, guys. That's fine. That was way too loud. I'm just going to occasionally be... Oh, maybe I can do it like this. What's up, Mr. Vinyl and Vapor? Uh, is Eric here? Eric's in here. That's weird. Okay, so uh, this first one... Uh, this is uh, John. J-O-N John. He goes by uh, Bearded Vape God. We met in uh, the UK, I believe, and he sent over, you know, Assignment America or Assignment Planet Globe, rather, has the, the rule has been, I want to see like your best of the best, your bangers. So if you send an Assignment America, it would just be like this. You'd be like, here's my all day, baby all day, here's my thing, it's RDA, here's the liquid, Assignment America. Now, it appears that Assignment America has expanded into... I think people said, show me every vape you ever owned. Oh. Because that's... Uh, that's what they're I'm getting. I'm not against it. You know, I'm saying I'm not against it, but that's kind of what it's turning into. Because then we get uh, get like this. Pal. Torin, oh, look at another Torin. Torin Mac. I don't know what's on top, but that's a smock mod. And what's this one on the end? That looks like a computer tower. It does. It's called the Zomo GT Laser 225. I've never heard of such a thing. <clears throat> I've never heard of such a thing, uh, John the Bearded Vape God. Wait, but there's more. Bearded Vape God number two. Lost Vape something. That's a drag. That's a, some sort of Zeus. I think that's a Zeus. Yeah, that's a Zeus RTA. I don't know what the next one is. And then that's a cross. And then we got he got a signed box. Look at that. Vape and Bogan. Vape and Bogan Grim, Grim Green. Green. Signed it. Crazy. But wait. There's more. Is that how Bogan signs his stuff? Like a two-year-old? <laughs> he just like spells out his name like he doesn't know cursive. <laughs> I guess. I never looked at it or even cared. That looks like an easily forgeable signature, too. It's just vaping Bogan. Vaping Bogan. Yeah, yeah. he's putting no thought into that. Yeah. Sam, come on. <laughs> but here's the thing. I put no thought into my... That signature that I do is just the first thing I ever wrote down when the first person I ever met at a vape show asked me for an autograph. Yeah. I was like... Well, I do the same thing. Grim. I and have I just a cool coil turd that. signature, but yeah. when the first time I did it, I was like, I got to make this look cool. Yeah. I just and then I, now I do the same thing every time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I dot my I with an X. Yeah, yeah. Because that's like a, you know... Bug like is a, just like... Edgy. A two-year-old in, <laughs> in preschool just, like, write your name on top of the paper. <laughs> oh, poor Bogan. Yeah, poor Sam. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. Sorry, man. That's okay. That was yeah. Beecher's nigga. We love you. Yeah, we love you. But wait, and then, but wait, there's more. We got some big Ooh, that's a lot. in there. Some Wick liquor in there. There's a Pulse. There's a, another mech. There's the Armor mech. Yeah. There's some geek vapes up there. There's some pods at the end and another squonk. Butter number two. Good choice on the butter number two. Good choice on the Zeus. I think I have that big 5E e liquid. We just haven't tasted it yet. And there's a dot AIO on the end. Yeah, there is. Dot AIO. I am so out of touch that I don't recognize anything on that table. Nothing? No. Not even the profile? Look, no. That's the profile RDA right Mm-mm. Really? That's the crown B or crown D, I think. Nope. That's a dot. 
I yeah. don't recognize these two mechs, but he has two profile R- RDAs. Yeah. That's the Pulse AIO. Okay. I don't know what, uh, that That's is that is. is that a new Pulse? No, it's the I think it's the original Pulse. The original Pulse, okay. Yeah, I think that's the original Pulse AIO. I think that's the original Pulse AIO. Um, we also have a video. I'm just going to mute us so we can listen to uh, Rose here. He sent in his assignment, America. Shout out to Rose. We got uh, we got two minutes of Rose here. Hello, Nick. I know this is short. In a short time, I'm going to be live in two hours. I hope you see this email for the uh, assignment in the globe. So, I have my Telema solo with the Artemis RDTA at 30 watts, only 30, it's enough. Crackle CTU though. This one I have for a few times at 20 watts, it doesn't crackle that much. I have to do a rebuild on that. This is my Lima Quest with the Zeus X at only 26 watts on Direct in Hell. And a new toy I joined the group is the Mason AIO by Steam Crave at only 28 watts. All four crackly amazing. I hope you see this. Have an amazing live stream. I hope I can make it. If not, hashtag replay crew. I think I'm gonna be in the uh, cool kids hangs. I hope so. Have a great night, day, evening, wherever you are. Hope you're having a good day. Quick smoking. I did myself with the help of vaping. I started with a uh, with a joy tech. I started now I have a f- collection of them I love them to bits I am an enthusiast this turned into a hobby it's not just quitting now it's a hobby I love this hobby I'm not gonna stop it anytime soon I hope you're doing all great have a great one bye bye love you all from Romania <laughs> yeah Hell yeah Rose peace out Rose thank crackle you for, thank you for sharing yeah crackle on crackle a city whole another level yeah a whole other level of crackle the, watching that video earlier spawned a whole crackle debate between beecher and yeah. i on on about crackle do you even like crackle beecher's like that's excessive crackle that's <laughs> too much crackle <laughs> he that guy's be vaping down the street and he'd be like oh shit like what the fuck is that <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. it's good <laughs> good crackle and it's a it's like a you know it's a physical feeling as well like you can feel the crackle yeah and the mod when moves, you're vaping it's it. like no the mod doesn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's not quite like that i've never been a chaser you've of never the crackle. Just, like you never had a really crackly rda and you're like yes i want to repeat this with every rda that i have it's been far and few between where I'll build something and then it'll crackle like that. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then I just go on with my day. <laughs> and then I, but I don't, about it like I a fucking weirdo. I don't like <laughs> build another RDA hoping to get that same experience. Oh, I do. No, I do. I do. In fact, crackle. Here's something for you guys. Crackle will sometimes, and I have to check myself. Crackle will make me bias to like a product. Like if I set up. And a new RDA, and I'm getting really good crackle from it. I'm like, what a great RDA. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with the RDA. I know it doesn't, but my experience with the RDA is so enjoyable that I, I notice that it like sways I, me, I and I have that. to like check myself and be like, are you like this RDA because it's good, or do you like because of the crackle? So, But would you add an extra banana sticker because of the crackle? And then no, so that RDA no, or whatever no. gets an extra banana sticker? It wouldn't affect banana okay. stickers, no. Okay. But That's it good. does affect like my opinion like my feeling towards it and the whole video is like ready to go like you get that crackle and you're like oh here we go here We're we done. go yeah 10 banana yeah, stickers 10 banana yeah. stickers oh, <laughs> 10 banana stickers just for the crackle and i noticed that stuff with less of a crackle or lower crackle i tend to use 
a little bit less. Like I'll gravitate towards crackle every single time. I get it mostly from 2.5 millimeter coils. All right. Well, I could be wrong. I mean, that's not science. That's just <laughs> <laughs> that's just anecdotes. You're just an anecdote. What about cr- crackle out of like a mouth to lung uh, boro or R- RTA? I don't use them. I am such like a, a one trick pony. But you use mouth to lung. I've seen you use mouth to lung. I have one at home. It's a K fun on top of the the little tiny Dreamer mech. Oh the yeah, yeah. Eighteen three fifty guy. Yeah, and that's the only one I have at home. Crackle from it? Not really. Oh. Crackle in a mouth to lung is really cool. I think. I, yeah, I was trying to set this up to do something like that, but I just. <laughs> I, I can't. I cannot figure out the I ended up turning it into a swimming pool. I'm going to keep trying so. to do it as long as I'm here. And once I get home, I'm going to just keep fiddling with this thing. Yeah, I. I think I'm going to take it all apart and just shove the whole fucking thing full of cotton. Just jam co- extra Every, cotton in there, and then right around the coil, just to separate like a little vapor chamber. <laughs> I don't think you need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I feel like you don't need to do that at, in, in any capacity, Beecher. In any capacity. Yeah. Nick is a cracklehead. I, I look. Uh, okay, so there, wait, there's uh, one more. Oh, did we already look at Bartman? Oh, we didn't look at Bartman. Okay, Bartman. Oh, I know, I know a couple of those. Hashtag Bartman sent in, uh, I think I texted it to myself. Yeah. You want to read that email for us, Beecher? Can you not read that either? Uh, it's blurry. Yeah, it says, Nick, the attached photos represent about 80% of my collection. Also, this week's current bangers and some of the e-liquids I've been enjoying. I've been at it since about 2012. It all started with the Kanger Evod and the iTaste SVD. I know that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's Shown a- in the main picture. Oh, main picture. The main picture. The main Get picture. on it. Is this the main picture? Oh. Whoa. Let me let me go on with this. The Same first Grim Green video I ever watched was your review of that device. I quickly went straight from that to Clouds Bro Clouds. Hell yeah. And now I enjoy great flavors and a nice saturated vape. Yeah. Oh, by the, the way, SVD. there's the SVD. Top left corner. By the way, that's a Cali V2 and matchy cap on the Hexome. Oh, all right. Well, this is the main picture. Yes, that is. There's the Hexome. There's the I taste SVD up there with yeah. the Atlantis yes. no, or the Old Nautilus Mini. School. Nautilus Mini on there. He also goes on to Is say. Is that a Nemesis? Um, that looks like a Nemesis to me. Gets the own boy on there. Got... Yeah. And, and there's just so many, like, you, there's no way you could figure out what, what, what some of these boxes are. Right. Like, there's just so many vape products. They all just see, look the same. Yeah, you can see a thousand of them. Yeah. And it just like it's a box with a button. It's a box with a button. He goes on to say, "Congrats again on your award." Oh, thank you, Bartman. It's a really, it really is a fine device. It has surpassed all my other squonkers and is my current ride or die. All right, Hexon. Bartman that's, J. Oh, that's the Hexon right there, the red Hexon. That is matchy. That is super matchy. That's hella matchy. Stubby, Cross, yeah. Lux XR Max. What's that blue one? Was that an Empire Squonk? It is an Empire. The best Squonk on the market? Are you kidding me? I think it's the only Squonk on the market. No. I'm just kidding. It's not the only one. It's the only one I it know It might of. as well be. You know? It <laughs> Get them all well off. It might as well be the only one. Take it away. Any other Squonks even worth a damn? I'm just kidding. The Pulse 3 is actually really good, too. Yeah. It's not as good as the Empire, though. Well, well nothing is. Yeah, no. I mean, what is these days? Nothing. Not much. And then uh, I don't know if we addressed the first picture from Bartman. Uh, just liquids, Soul Custardy, one twenty one salted caramel, which or District twenty two, District twenty one, District one twenty one two. I can't see the rest of the bottle. I, I have no idea what that is. District one twenty one, <clears throat> salted caramel, salted buttered caramel, buttered popcorn. I think I have a bottle of that. And baked a sixty pistachio. sixty mil bottle of the baked pistachio. Sixty mil and a hundred mil. Did you ever vape skull and crossbones? Uh, no. Dude, but that's another one that I've heard you talk about uh, a long time ago. From way back in the day. I mean, skull and crossbones. Way back. I've in heard the day, that out of your mouth very often. Skull and crossbones. Yeah. 
It Say it again. So good. So Say incredible. it again. Boardwalk e liquid elixir. Boardwalk elixir. Never tried it. Although I do like the name Soul Custardy a lot. That's funny. Yeah, that is a good one. That's you. You like puns in your vape products? <laughs> a liquid for vaping. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that, that tracks. That makes sense. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, all right. Sick. Well, that's what you guys have been vaping. Uh, if you want to see your gear featured on this vlog live stream, you can send it over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, assignment, planet, globe. Chances are I'll see the attachment. They'll get downloaded and used accordingly. But uh, I want to see them. I want to see your bangers. I want to see. Are you warm? No, we're just out of focus again. What? It's going to be a thing. Is nothing in focus? Your cup is in focus like crazy. Yeah, but I moved it though and then it didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the worst vlog of most dangle clacks on earth. How did I get Kent and I both in focus? I think it's, I, I don't know. It's obviously not set up in the same exact position. No, but... It's You're kind of in focus. Yeah, but look, our microphones are in crystal clear focus. Yeah. The microphones are like the star yeah. of the show. Yeah, and so is my mod. So is your mod. Like, yeah, look, <laughs> look how crystal clear that mod and bottle of e-liquid are. Okay, wait, hang on. I'm going to try something else. You can just bear with me. Yeah, this, it's going to happen, guys. We're, 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 we're so sorry. Yeah. Uh, anyway, while he's over there, what's next on the agenda? Let's read some, uh, let's, let's look at your guys' comments over here. Good freestyle. Addy Tooney, I am thinking of moving overseas, but that is not a fully fledged thing right now. Ern says it's the iPad. Thinks the iPad's getting in the way. Kent says, I told you there would be dolphins. What'd you say, Kent? Kent's in here. Oh, it's still crazy focused on your gear. Oh, no, okay. Wait, now it might good. be our faces. Yeah, it's our. We're good now. Are we good now? Yeah, we're good now. We're good. Oh we gosh. just got to lean. We got to lean into it. Yeah, we're going to have to read yeah. cozy up here, and that's fine. Coil Turd can read fastly. Coil Turd reads. Fastly. Rocco, dinner was amazing last night. Tikka Masala. Tikka Masala, Off yeah. Off the top of my head. Beecher came over and just freestyled some fucking Tikka Masala. I was, what was I even doing? You're like, I'm going to go to the store. Oh, I was playing Zelda. Yeah, you're playing Zelda. I was playing Zelda last night on Twitch, and Beecher's like, I'm going to go to the store and get a bunch of stuff for dinner. And well, he did. He went good. to Whole Foods and fucking, oh, we are out of focus again. Why? It's going to drive you crazy. It's going to make me insane. Yeah, it is. I can't figure out why it's happening. Should we move the iPad? No. Like maybe in the corner? Like should we move the table like here? It still just focuses on your mod. We can't have anything on the table. I don't know why it's only focusing down here. It's like the not it's not I don't understand what's going on right now. My God, I don't get it. I've tried every setting that I possibly can. Literally, literally. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, Gunny wants to know if you found the king. The king? Yeah, in uh, Zelda. Oh, I did. He did. I did. Oh, Kevin, Whole Foods so expensive, but that meal we ate last night was one hundred percent organic. <clears throat> can't tell if Kent's saying you should build some staggertons if he's talking to you or me because I'm not doing that <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're definitely not doing that <laughs> you, that you bake a cake we're actually gonna make some banana bread but we chose dinner instead yeah we chose we chose chaos instead how's that look that's much better is it for now <laughs> for right now yeah for now okay this this we're going with. We just have to be very close. 
very close to each other, and that's okay. Beecher's a pro. He is. He's a super pro, and I just watched him like magic. I hope you're talking about dinner. Whip up tikka masala with like, he was mixing things, smashing things, cutting things. I've never seen anything like it. It's like I've never seen anyone prepare food ever before I saw Beecher prepare food. And it was delicious. Yeah, we had it for leftovers again today. I, I It made a pretty decent size batch. It made a bunch. Yeah. I'm going to be eating that the whole time Casey's gone. Yeah. 100%. No questions asked. <clears throat> no questions asked. All right. Well, now that we're out of focus. Now we're back in let's focus. See, uh, oh, you know what's next? Hmm. The Disney video. Oh, shit. Yes. My favorite part. The Disneyland video. When you so? were putting this together, I was like, I just want to go back. Yeah. Yeah. Like watching Big Thunder. If I, yeah. I was like, oh, I wish I, I wish we were there right now. I wish I was at Big Thunder literally yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. I have the same feeling. I had the same feeling. Especially when I see the Matterhorn Herald. Yeah. I just want to be there. Yeah. I want to experience that literally right now. Tell us your social security number. Don't be ruled by fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what would you have to be scared about? So, um, much like the Europe Vape Show or the Vapor Expo UK, this isn't a great video, but it does give you a taste of uh, Disneyland with me and Beecher. It's like a minute and 30 seconds long. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope it's not too loud either. happening <laughs> the one, the one firework. firework. <laughs> it's because we were standing in line for Space Mountain and fireworks were going off. Oh, fireworks were going off. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I should get some of that for whatever. You like film it. So I got out my camera, I opened my cam you know, I got out my phone, I opened my camera, I hit record, and it was just <laughs> one firework and then that was the end. Yeah, that was <laughs> It was just nothing. It was like another 10 seconds of just me going, oh, oh it's over. <laughs> yeah. But I got one firework, uh, so uh, we had to do it. Listen, we had a good time at Disneyland. <clears throat> I had a blast. I fucking love Disneyland. And, yeah. uh, Besides my shoe debacle. Even the shoe debacle turned we into. We uh, so well. We handled with it. With all the time to ride all the rides and do all the things. We did everything, literally everything we shoes. wanted to. I still buy new shoes. I decided to wear Vans. Yeah, like, <laughs> like vans. The classics. Yeah. To Disneyland for seven a.m. until what did we leave? Eleven. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was my was shoe of choice, 11. and that by halfway, I was he, like, "He's like these shoes are terrible." Like, There's a shoe store <laughs> in downtown Disney. I like, saw a shoe store. Can we, you know, plan this so we can in between fast passes or whatever it's called, lightning rounds or lightning lane, whatever it's called. It's a fast pass. It'll always be a fast pass. Uh, and we got the shoes. It was a great time. And I even bought shoes and I didn't need shoes. 
He bought the same shoes I bought. I bought the exact same shoes, Beechard. I don't know why I did. I did it today at the store too. When you're like, "Ooh, pistachios," I was like, "I want pistachios." <laughs> it's just something that happens. I'm like I'm buying shoes. I'm like, I want shoes. <laughs> just buy a pair of shoes. My shoes are perfectly fine, comfortable. I had one little tiny blistery spot. It's no big deal. Mm-hmm. And nope. Spent the rest of the day in my brand new Reef shoes. Oh, Rhett saying Ghost Rider at night. Oh, my God. Yes. Ghost Rider at night. Ghost Rider at night. I've never been. Here's the thing. I'm trying to get a dog sitter for tomorrow, which may not happen because we were trying to go to Knott's Berry Farm tomorrow. Yeah. Damn. Mm. You're going to have to c- come back and go to Knott's Berry Farm. It's the best thing. Ghost Rider at night. Like, forget about it. It's over. It's so great. It's delicious. It's so tasty. I love the crap out of it. Um, I don't know if there's any Disneyland fans like here, but I hope you enjoyed it. And we, look, I love Disneyland. We grew up going to Disneyland. So it's like when one of us says, hey, we should go to Disneyland. It's like, all right, let's go to Disneyland. Yeah. It's just a thing that happens mm-hmm. because it's Disneyland. We know, I'm no, I know Beecher's not going to say no. And he kind of knows I'm not ever going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want to go to Disneyland? Nah. I'm kind of... Unless I call you from the airport at noon, I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, I'm about to stream. You want to go to Disneyland right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuck at the airport for 14 hours. We can make it. We can go. We can go to Disneyland. I was like, "Mm, that might might be a little bit close. Yeah, that might be a little bit close. It's okay. Well, that was... So there was supposed to be way more footage. Yeah. I was going to make a whole other separate, like, patron-only... Beecher and Nick at Disneyland video that just is not going to exist now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Frames Janklin with he wants to go to Knott's Berry Farm. Shit, yeah, you do, Frames Janklin. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been to Knott's Berry Farm with Frames Janklin. Sewer Rug in the chat is the gentleman that uh, cleaned up all my uh, boysenberry barf. Yeah, he told I told, told me. you yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> Clean, cleaned Good it all on up. you, man. Yeah. He's like that's he's a good guy for yeah, doing that. Yeah, it's like everybody like, needs you know, a friend like that. He is. Yeah, everybody needs <laughs> to be responsible and clean up your barf when you're when you don't. Yeah. When you're too tired. In retrospect, that's pretty messed up that I did that. Yeah. And that sewer rug cleaned it up. And you're just like, I'm going to go to bed. I was tired. I was like, I'll just wake up and do it in the morning. You know, I don't know. I was tired. You know, we had a bunch of shed time. I just spent all day at Knott's Berry Farm, like exhausted. <laughs> and I just assumed I'd wake up before everybody else and clean it up. Yep. Just didn't happen. Nope. No. It just didn't happen. Boys and bury your life. Yeah. Boys and bury your life. All right, you guys. Well, shit. What, what do we, we got, got next? To do next? Uh, do you want to do a retro vaping? Sure. Let's do, do it. Do you want to do a retro vape? Yeah, right, retro. Let's do retro vape. Uh, and let's make it happen. Look. Okay, so, oh, can you see that? Not yet. Can you see that? Not yet. This, uh, this today's retro vape is on loan from the Gunny Collection. Hashtag Gunny Life. Uh, it is, it's the Oxfa Abita. I heard, why'd you put it? There you go. It's the Oxfa Abita. And I've heard that that's how you have to say it, like a Boston accent. Abita. 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 The Oxfa Abita. Abita. Oxfa Abita. Oxfa Abita. <laughs> Oxfa Abita. <laughs> I never got to try uh, the Oxva Abita. I didn't know that Oxva. I don't. I guess I just didn't remember that Oxva made like rebuildable, like lung cloud chasey stuff. But, but here we are. But here we are. It's the Oxva Abita. Uh, Coil Turd, I think, is going to get to build it today. Yeah, because you know we don't have all day. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have 45 minutes for Jesus, a retro vaping is segment. Huge. Is it big? Let's see this. Is. Oh, yeah. That's pretty substantial. That's a pretty substantial RTA. I don't know. What do you think? It, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. Abita. Oxva Abita. Black and red. I don't like the red. You don't like the red? No, I'm very... Like, even putting this drip tip on here is, like, too many colors. Almost. 
More more than two colors? Yeah. Or like bad. black. Yeah, that's just me. What do you mean? You don't that's like That's just me. Red and no, black? No. With the red O-rings? Colors. Oh, I'm wearing weird. a yellow sh- shirt, which I never do. It's, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you decided to do it here on this stream, Beecher. We, we actually have a retro uh, device for you to try that on, actually, as well. I'll put some Whoa. batteries in it. So many things. Yeah, I'm trying to do like a full retro, you know, not just a topper. But like a full setup, you know, like a retro mod to go with the retro topper. Yeah. Oh, this is series. The battery sled is not marked on this in any way. So we're just guessing. These coils. Maybe that's the winning combination. Hey, okay, there it is. Just the right size. I'm going to stand up real quick. All right. You're going to stand up to do this? No, I'm just going to readjust these uh, leads real quick. This is the retro box mod. Show of hands in the chat. Did anybody have the Taro? The dual 18650 Vapor SO Taro? This was a banger. At least I thought it was a banger. I like the white. I like the carbon fiber. Vape You know, before they... Before it became just just cross threes, but they did the Taro. What was this site? What was this called? The Taro two hundred VTC. The Taro two hundred VTC. I brought my tools. Oh, yeah. These fucking grim green tools are bullshit. <laughs> o ring, red O rings are so twenty seventeen. Thank you. Oh, okay. that. that was Legion. Legion. I don't know if I agree with you. You ever moisturize your lugs? You ever vape lubiderm? Vape lubiderm, moisturize your lugs. The right. coils. Tool. Tool. What do you need? Grab the whole oh, tools. Yeah, this whole thing? Just pick it up? Yeah, just pick it up. And remember, don't lean on this. And In fact, take your beer off of it, too. I don't want you to. It's going to be a bad scene, man. It's going to be a bad scene, man. Gunny, oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. So Gunny, the person that this is on loan from the Gunny collection, he said, uh, he said I never built that Arbiter. I, I got it secondhand. He just got it secondhand and never built it. Hmm. The coils that we're using are uh, Drip Theory. Shout out to uh, hashtag Drip Theory right here. They're uh, Aliens. Uh, triple 26 gauge core. Nope, 28. 20. Are you lying to me right now? Does that say 26? I could just tell from the ohms. The ohms are 0.12. It's a 28 gauge. But that says 26. Like that's no, a 6. An, that's an 8. Oh. Have I been wrong about what a 6 and an 8 is my whole life? I guess it says... It, it, I think it might actually say 26. But this is a pretty... It should be a lot lower than that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll Two see. and a half millimeters. Here, let's show off I this need, deck. Uh, what do you got here? Uh, I need tools. You have tools. Abada. Oh, that's a pretty cool deck. It's not bad. I need a an hex key that'll fit that. There should be one in there that'll fit it. It's the red tipped ones. Red tips. I like the red O rings. <clears throat> Why don't you like the red O-rings, dude? I, I like the red O-rings. No. It reminds me a little bit of like Geek Vape, oh, the black go. and the red, but otherwise, it's got a big ass chimney. It's top airflow. It's got it's a three massive. quarter, three it's quarter hockey. turn. It's big. It's a big RDA. Or big RTA There's rather. Lots of metal in there. What's the tank capacity on that? Infinity. Sorry guys if you can't hear me. I got the mic a little bit further away from my voice. What is the my tank mouth capacity? Well? <laughs> <laughs> my voice is too far away. My voice is too far away. Um, the complete top to bottom airflow and extremely condensed chamber bring the best flavor and zero leaking. The Abita 
is also the easiest RTA to build on. There is no need to measure and cut legs in advance because of the angled post hole design. Oh, I don't need to cut the legs? Six mil bubble glass capacity. Six mil. We're cutting these legs anyway, box. Oh. Well, you do you, Beecher. The angled. Oh, you do I don't you. Because I have to angle this. These coils might be too wide. Too wide? Yeah. I don't know. Look at that. Like a glove. Okay, that's a really. You're doing a really good install. Yeah. Faster and better than I have ever made one. I think. <laughs> I'm just sending clippings all over your room right now. That's fine. Um. Actually, that's not okay. <laughs> I used to be a believer in just, who cares? Let your leads go wherever you want because you'll vacuum anyway. Yeah, but it's like, then you stop vacuuming? No, but then one of my patrons, Dickie Moe, shout out to you, Dickie Moe, stepped on a lead and it like that he clipped and it went in his foot and like he got in, in like an infection from it. Ooh. So I instituted the Dickie Moe rule of do not let your leads go flying everywhere. Keep an eye on them. Okay. You never know where your foot's going to end up. You never know. Like, what if Murphy came in here and stepped on it and this little lead went in his little poor puppy paw pad? I'd uh, be, be devastated. You put it that way. I'd be devastated. You know? Yeah. I'd be devastated. Yeah. I feel you. Can you guys, uh, maybe I should, you know, I don't know, do this closer to you guys too. Yeah, that's why I kind of, there you go. That's why I got the. Just don't lean on it. So this is what it's just saying. Just don't lean on it. You don't need to cut your leads. You can just throw them in there and then cut them afterwards. Oh, whoa. Let me see that. Let me see that. Oh, yeah. That is kind of cool. Do you see this? You can just drop your leads in. And they come out the side. And then you just clip them after. Damn, I wonder why I never tried this RTA the first time. Have you ever tried this RTA? No. No. Walks for Abida. Who knew? Actually, there was a mountain of people on YouTube that told me I needed to try this RTA really? back in the day. But And what did you say to them? I said, I'm trying. That's why I say, say the same thing I say to everybody. I'm trying. I'll get there. When people are like, you should review this. You should review that. You should review that. I go, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. I literally am trying to review anything. If it vapes, I want to review it. If it vapes, I want to try it. What was these three millimeter coils? Two and, two and a half? They fit in there okay? Yeah. Plenty of space? Oh, uh, yeah. Walks for Abita. Look at that. Back up just a little. There you go. Look at that. That's busting. That's busting. What are we firing this on? Uh, That. Does this have a ohm limiter? Ohm limiter? Yeah, will it fire below 0.1? I don't know. Let's find out. If not, then we can use gua, but that's where that's going to end up eventually. Is there overhang? Like crazy, oh, yeah. huh? <laughs> 0.06. Will it fire it? Nope. Okay, here. Give me a mech mod. No. <laughs> no, Beecher, no. We that could tip not. That is definitely protruding enough. Yeah, but... You, yeah, but... Just do it on a regulated. Come on. We try to have a little bit of a culture of safety here at Grim Green Industries because on a live stream, I vented batteries before from being careless. And so we we have the utmost safety standards here now. The up. Most. Ut, ut, ut. The utmost. utmost. The utmost. Just be careful. I don't want you to. I don't want you to mess yourself up there. I don't want you to sit and mess yourself up there. Here, can you change this off um, Canthal? Off Canthal? Why are you doing it through stainless steel? It Just do Watt Boost. Okay. I like using Canthal because when I use Canthal, it doesn't throw me check atomizers or it doesn't show me, uh, yeah, it doesn't throw me uh, check atomizers when I'm dry burning. All right, we're going to dry burn this at 50. Five zero watts? 50? 58. Oh, well, you got a little bit of different technique than I do. I generally, no matter what, will start my wattage at like 22 watts for literally everything. This is such a beefy coil that it's going to need a little bit more power. It has a lot of mass to it. Is that yeah. what you're telling me? 
Is there a lot of people in the chat that have used the Oxfa? Yeah, it's Overhang City, Vape and Bic. Overhang Town, USA. But that's okay. Like, I was kind of expecting that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mallory, is there any way you can slow down a little bit? People aren't used to having things <laughs> built this quickly. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. just slow down just a little bit? Have some sort of dangle clack. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, Beecher. There he goes you, again. There he goes again. <laughs> there he goes again. There he does again. Goes again. You were doing pretty good on the number of work safety days until the wall attacked your hand. Yeah, that's true. We had almost a year of uh, without a OSHA recordable incident here at Grim Green Industries. Oh, Matt McCurry, I'm happy to see you here, man. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Have, hang out. Have a good time. Chat with some people. Literally everybody in this chat's awesome. I mean, if you exclude microwave oven, that is. Of course, of course, I'm joking. Microwave oven. Come on, get real. Frank, you have the Oxfa Abita. Oxfa Abita. Sewer rug has a R bitter. It's a decent flavor banger, but jink, drinks juiced drinks juice fastly. I think Coil Turd's new nickname is Hot Spot Coil Guy. <laughs> Told you these weren't gonna Nailed fit it. in here. <laughs> they're very compressed. Yeah, There's... they fit okay. They fit fine. Yeah. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, the Taro was a tiny little twenty-two millimeter guy, but I knew it was gonna overhang, and that's just part of it, you know. That's just part of the life. Some of my favorite setups that I've ever vaped, like, ever, have looked wonky, non-matching, you know different color drip tip, different color chimney, weird ass mech mod or like a, a ton of overhang. But then when it vapes good, it's like, I kind of don't care. So I'm hoping that the Oxva. I'm assuming Abita, you just shove the wicks down there. Yeah. Let me just take a look at this. Oh yeah. You're going to have to cut them a little bit long. Yeah. You're going to have to cut them a little bit long. How does the Abita hold up with uh wicking? That's kind of a distance for those wicks to travel there. It's kind of a distance for those wicks to travel there. Kennedy says, I only use coil turd coils. They last forever. Thank you, guy. Yeah. She, I think Kennedy is a she. She. That's, thanks, girl. Thanks, Kennedy. We got to move those microwave ovens. Custom kitchen deliveries. We got to move that refrigerator. <laughs> We got to move that color TV. <laughs> Come on, Dire Straits, again. that's a good shoot. Abita, Matthew's Abita came with black O-rings. I like the red. I have the Abita and I hardly ever use it. It's, also, it's too big also. It's huge. Maggots. It's huge. Maggots. The maggots are maggots. falling like rain. Also, while you're building on the guar mod, you have to sing maggots. Oh, sorry. Baggots. <laughs> maggots. Did you say baggots? <laughs> baggots. 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 The baggots are crunchy like... I'm just kidding. I don't know where I was going with that. Long on the wicks or the liquids won't sticks. That's uh, some advice from... Uh, Professor Toilet Bowl. Is that that's not what you named it, right? It's not Professor Toilet Bowl. I have two Abidas. It's a bulky RDA uh, by Fagan in a different body. Oh, it's the bulk RB RTA. I never tried the bulk RTA either. I tried the dog. Dog. I tried the dog. Oh, we didn't get. To, uh, we don't get to play a game tonight. Mm. Damn. I don't get to do the, the uh, is it real or fake oh, you game. Wanna, you, wanna, you wanna show them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Done. Boom. Abida. Built. Wicked. Wicked. Let me investigate these. Uh, if there's wick coming out the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Well, you know, it's not a quite as good or quick of a job as I could have done, but. It's definitely not. You could you know, have. I we'd be done right you, now. Uh, we'd be done with the vlog. The vlog would be over. Seriously, we'd we'd be, we'd be done. The first time it wouldn't wouldn't so have ran efficient. long. 
<laughs> it's just so efficient that maggots maggots oh thank you I got one more we got one more everything fits yep. that's not safe no it's not you can fall and poke your eye out with that yeah. Well, there we have it, the Abida. Fucking Waxfa Abida. Waxfa. All right, so let's pick a liquid to go on the inside. Are we going to do the random one? No, no. No? no? We got something else for that. This is just something we want. Oh, here we go. Oh. We got a little bit of that left. A little cherry cheesecake, some, Evo. Some hot cherry cheesecake action. Bam. Focus back on my face. There That's a go. damn hell-ass good e-liquid. That's the only good cherry flavor with the exception of the ducks nuts from bogan has a good cherry flavor mm -hmm. i like cherry flavors so much and there's no good cherry flavors in vaping and i remember the first cherry flavors that came out like back in you know 210 2011 all just tasted like you know syrup like yeah like cough syrup. like sucrets or something we called it tussin T oh yeah We're like it's got a little bit of a tussin feel yeah. going on Tussiny, really tussiny. I remember vaping a, a cherry menthol flavor one time. Ooh. Awful. Yeah, it was like chewing on pennies. It was disgusting. Gross. It felt like a tasted like a or gunshot like, yeah, wound. You have like a cold. And you're just yeah. drinking cold <laughs> medicines. Yeah. Just ludens for days. All right. Well, here what we're what are we gonna do here is put this Oh I yeah, there's a chimney over the top. Kinda, we can get that on camera there, that chimney. So this there's so much metal going on in this thing here. Let me go this way. So and much this metal. fits over the top like a little hat for your cotton. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Oh, this, and there's not. Wait, where does the airflow come from? This is definitely a. Some sort of contraption. So the airflow comes from between your posts. The airflow literally comes in from here. Okay. Right? Down and in. I think so. All right, Beecher. All well. right, and then we're going to screw this bad boy on. I'm going to take it off this mod first. We're going to put it on the vape presso. What did the resistance end up at? 0 0.08. 0 0.08? Yeah. Really? What were they supposed to be? 0 0.12. 0 0.08, 0 0.12? All right. So we ended up with a 0.08. It might not be quite a 0.08. The maggots are falling. Yeah, like so rain. this, unfortunately, this. It's not going to fire it? This, no. That's not going to work out. Oh, man. All right, so put it on Guar. Guar it is. Put it on Guar. At 59%, 49% battery. It fits this better. Tell me that that just doesn't look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Way, way better. That looks way cooler. Much cooler. Yeah. Much better. In and every this way. Is a top fill. In every, literally every way. Are we gonna fill this whole thing up? Maggots. Yeah. Do it. Maggots. Uh, Ern, why don't you speak? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go bubble glass, or you'll be adding liquid all day. Does it really drink through that much liquid? It's gonna be a, it's a .08 in here. Like it's gonna drink even more. Yeah, this I is, guess it should chuck lots of tits. Hello, tits. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna first vape this wide open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is like double the goon airflow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna set the wattage to? 110, dog. Are you? Yeah. All right. <sighs> You like Coil my turn vapes? comes over. Everything it was suddenly hundred more than hundred watts. Oh, it's gonna ask you. You don't need to purge it. I feel like. How's that? Oxva Abida. What year did this come out? Can anybody get a year on this for me? Put it on the clutch. Actually, that probably would rock on the clutch. Well, we'll see it? how it wicks, but. Um... It's not bad. Yeah. It brings out different notes in the in the flavor. Oh, does it? Yeah. <coughs> what are you getting instead of a I get like a I get more of like the 
the crust, like the, it take kind of tastes like cinnamon to me for some reason. Oh, really? Oh, fascinating. I didn't think it would uh, change it that much. <laughs> I've got the hemp. He vapes. He vapes all the time. It's fine. He's not new here. What is that, 20 milligram? <laughs> <laughs> Three? 20 milligram uh. salt? Oh, it's actually zero. So, Well, you have it at 110 watts. That's why. As it should be. You Go for it. Of it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look how much I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. Wide open. Fuck you. Cloud comp. Oh, that's delightful. It's not bad, right? Pretty good crackle. Pretty good crackle. 2.5 millimeter coils. I bet if we turn that down, you can get even more crackle, though. Turn it down to 15 watts. 15? <laughs> <laughs> Did we reach the cutoff of a DNA? <laughs> yeah. How about 80 watts? Yeah, try it at 80. And tight, you can tighten the airflow up a little bit, too. Let's tighten the airflow up a little bit. Let's turn it to 80 watts. Although, at 110 watts, full open... It that wasn't good? too much. No, no, no. It wasn't too much. And the flavor is actually really good. Yeah. I think I get more like cherry sweetness from it in this format. Less, it's not as much. It's not a difference, noticeable difference in the crackle. So let's leave it at 100 watts. That's fine. 100? Yeah, that's bare minimum. Is it wicking? I feel like that last bit see, was a little bit going a, dry. I haven't seen a bubble yet. <laughs> haven't seen a bubble yet, Beach. <laughs> haven't seen a bubble yet. Yo, yo, JJ. Dude, this is a good RTA. Yeah, it's not bad. I would say that that's a good RTA. There the f- are oh, there are some you bubbles. Yeah, bubbles, okay. Yeah. The flavors are like shockingly good on that. Yeah, and it, it actually it hits like an RDA. It does kind of hit like an RDA. I'm put this wide open. open the, yeah, yeah, open that airflow up. Open it up. Hit that shit. I'm gonna put it at 120. What's up, peeps? My idea. Okay, yeah. we're gonna go for 120 watt. Why does he always have to do that? I set it at 100 watts. He's like mm, 120. Let's change it real quick. Mm, yeah, it's fine. You got to run dual coil tanks at 100? Here's the thing, Steve-O. No. <laughs> because I run my Type 2 at like half the wattage that I would normally run. So if I have like a 0.2 in there, I don't run it at like 60, 70 watts. I run it at like 40, 50 watts. Sometimes lower than that. Oh, unscrew the fill cap to release the bubbles. There you go. Raw editors. Pro tip from raw editors. Just, yeah, like you're going to fill it. Maybe that breaks the vacuum, lets the bubbles come up. Yep. You got to burp it. Boop. Bubble. It's wicking. How's it go with the beer? Cherry cheesecake. V God. Danny Lolo. Rip Capital. Rip Capital. Yeah, we were. <laughs> Last night. No. No, it's not good? No. All right. Last night, uh, I'll try it just okay. to make sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's not very good. No. Yeah, it's not a very good pairing. No. It's not a very good pairing. Oxfa Arbiter. Smoke alarm. Oh, yeah. It's under that mana hat. Mana, mana. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Thanks. Good looking out, Georgia boy. We'll oh. see. We'll see if we can set it off tonight. Matt McCurry, it's a uh, imperial oatmeal stout with coconut and cacao. Yeah, it is the uh, Fremont heavy duty. He Fremont coconut cacao barrel aged dark star. Yeah, the limited 2022 release. We just drank a limited beer. Yeah, Fremont. That's good on you. It's a really good beer. I would give this, I think, pretty good banana stickers uh, if it came out even now. Like the, the vape technology in this compared to RTAs today is very little difference. Top right. airflow, little chimney on the inside. Yep. Other than the deck kind of rules. Deck's not bad. 
Airflow's not bad. That's a good RTA. The flavor's pretty good out of it. The flavor's real good. Yeah. It's a massive, massive RTA. It's honking, but it's not like too honking. On that. Like, it fits good on this. Yes, I could does. find something else. Like, I, I bet the clutch, the clutch with a dual 18650. Uh, we're going to try this. What's the millimeter on that yeah, base? Is that 28? This. We're going to try this. We're going to put it on the clutch. If I can find a clutch. Can't find it. Never mind. Hang on. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, it's not down there. It's up here. What am I thinking? Cacao. Every time you say cacao, I think of Portlandia. Yeah. <laughs> cacao. <laughs> oh, man. I can't find my clutch. I had a clutch. I'm sure of it. Okay, hang on. Hang on. We're still going to get it. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, bros and bros. Bros and bros. I don't have any smoke detectors either. Once the first one went off, I just, you know, threw them all in a drawer and took the batteries out. Okay. We're going to put these dual 18650s into the clutch. We're finally going to put it on the clutch. See that custom Stormtrooper button on there? Yeah, I have one. <gasps> you have one? Mm-hmm. Oh. They make them, uh, I think the dude's like from Greece, I think. Greece or UK? One of the two. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere over there somewhere. somewhere over there that's not America for sure let me tell you I'm going to put this on the clutch this has the date on the bottom of it 11-21-2020 2020? yeah has the has the date on the bottom oh that's only a 3 year old RTA? yeah and 3 years ago Oxford was making A1 Wait, so just three years ago, Oxbow was making RTAs. Yeah. That's bananas. That's kind of bananas. IMO. Does that seem like bananas to you? It seems like bananas yeah. to me. Overhang city. No, not much. Barely any. I don't do overhang. Oh, that sounds scary. It sounds weak, actually. I thought it would hit harder. Definitely not 120 watt hittable. Here, hang on, I fucked up. Are you dying batteries? Oh, you put them. Oh, you put them in series. No, <laughs> I just didn't. <laughs> oh, you hard shorted it. Oh, oh, did you break that 18650 open? No. Oh, there's gonna be a little bit of a ramp up, I think. All right, we clutched it. It's on the clutch. There Walks it is. Abita, clutch. It needs regulation. I thought point one on dual parallel would be busting. It's a little bit less busting than I thought it was going to be. It gets a lot of liquid co collected up here. Yeah, but that doesn't so much matter, right? That doesn't so much matter. We're already halfway through this tank. Yeah, I guess sewer rug was right. It does rip liquid. It needs regulation. It does need regulation. Which is weird because I used to run point ones on max all the time. Is it just because of the mass of this? Like what science is happening here yeah, that there's such a are, big ramp up? Yeah, those are... In the alien world, the 26s are large. Oh, it's pretty it's not, good. It's not bad. Uh-uh. <clears throat> it's just not Guar mech regulated 120 watt. Crank the button a little bit harder. Push it harder? Yeah, like just, that's going to do more? It does. It, it, it's a it's a flat bar meeting a flat bar. So if you don't press it hard, it's not going to make full contact. Huh? A little bit harder, huh? I don't think that's has any science to do with it, but... It, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. I've heard that it does. <coughs> I've, heard, I've heard that it does. <sighs> this beer's making me warm in here. Or Ooh, maybe it's just, just clucking the chowds. Clucking the chowds. Let, uh, let me turn down the... Uh... Ch chucking the clouds. <laughs> the chowds. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Yeah, Ern, there's, there's lots of cotton in there for sure. Clucking chowds. 
You just <laughs> clucking chowd. Chowd clucker. Chowd clucking. Clucking chowd clucker. Cucking ch- What did you say? Uh, chucking. Uh, clucking clucking chowds. 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 Clucking chowds. <laughs> Childs, bro. Childs. Jeez, I thought Childs, you were bro. illiterate. Childs. Uh, here's what we're going to do right now is we're going to rely on Beecher probably a little bit. It's time to read some more Super Chats. And that's enough. We're that's gonna be enough. That's anyway. too much. All right. Uh, Beecher Howard, are you ready for this? Yeah, where are we at? Uh, there we it's go. Eifer, we got that. We got Barbara that. says, hey, Nick, love you. Now, let's plow. Yeah, okay, so Barbara, you know what's funny about that? Brian and I were just hanging out just this last weekend up in Santa Rosa, and we regaled each other with our experience of that particular story. And apparently you terrified Brian just to his core. He's like, I about jumped out of my shoes when Barbara shouted, now let's plow, because we're, we're, it's a, too long of a story. But we were talking about it recently, Barbara. Hey, I love you. That's my cousin, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Appreciate you, Barbara. <clears throat> New Wave Dave 169. Skull and bones just isn't the same without. Oh, diacetyl. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Nothing that it gets used me to have diacetyl. Than, than butter flavoring. Diacetyl rules. That's yeah. the problem. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I should be able to vape diacetyl if I want to. Yeah. And two, I don't think diacetyl and e liquid causes popcorn long. We're going to talk about this <laughs> in the news, but I really don't think there's any. like. When you think critically and logically about it, cigarettes have like 20 to 30 times more diacetyl in them than, yeah, than yeah, vaping yeah, does. Yeah. And there's never been a, a person who smokes cigarettes who's got popcorn lung. No. So you kind of go, It was just one of those right, things that it, they're... The, the popcorn lungs that have existed have never come from cigarettes, never come from vaping. They've only come from people who work in microwave popcorn factories breathing in diacetyl all day, every yeah. day, their entire shift. Yeah, and a few of them. And it's like the, like the cases it. of popcorn lung in the world, it's like a handful. Yeah. It's like 20, maybe. So I want diacetyl back. I, I agree with you, New Wave Dave. I agree with you. Skull and crossbones, the, the remixing of skull and crossbones wasn't as good as when it had diacetyl in it. I agree with you. Michael Redfern's vaping diacetyl right now. That's freedom, you know? You're a grown ass adult American. You should be able to inhale some diacetyl. I see nothing wrong with that. Let's bring diacetyl back. Let's do it. Let's just upset all the anti vapors. Just diacetyl flavoring. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's the That's e-liquid. what we call yeah. the liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Diacetyl. diacetyl. Yeah. 100%. Uh, we got Frank. Yo, yo, Nick and Beecher over here about to re wick my RDA for vaping B2. Get it. Get it, boy. I think every person in my Patreon bought seven to eight RDA for vaping V2s. Yes. I think that's just, I don't know that for sure. I have no way to prove it. I think that's I think just you're what on happened. Track. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's just what happened. Yeah. Look, it's a good RDA. It's fine. It's a good RDA. It's actually just fine. And it has good flavor. Fine flavor. And. <laughs> It's a really good RDA. How about you read Look, your super really chats, okay? Oh, I'm okay, done with you. Sorry. I'm done. Tribal Buddha, do you realize how much better your standing with pickle would be if you learned how to cook? Yeah. So, listen, that's the dream. That's the dream, Tribal Buddha. That's the dream. I want Beecher to guide my hands into the cooking world because it gives me, it triggers so many things in me, like patience out the window anxiety just flares right up you know dyslexia uh and reading recipes where it's like was that 12 cups or 21 cups can't remember might as well put in 20 just to be safe you know <laughs> it's written the on a piece of paper you can look at me. the piece of paper <laughs> you don't read it once and it disappears i know but i have to read things like many 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 times <laughs> before i really get it and absorb it you know but that's the dream is like i want to make dinner for Casey like every night of the week because Casey ends up working really late. She has a really high, you know, high tension, high stress job that just, you know, drains her. And I would like to be able to make dinner and then knock on Casey's door and be like, hey, dinner's ready. Oh, what'd you make? Oh, fucking feast. 
is delicious and beautiful and everything's amazing like Beatrice Tikka Masala that's the dream tribal Buddha yeah you just described the dream yeah fishy fishy says uh, can you read that yeah I can will you please read it <laughs> <laughs> all right I'll yeah. read this uh we are an hour in, and this vlog is Baller9000 already. Both of you are hilarious together. Uh, thank you, Fishy. More seatbelt. Do you know the more seatbelt joke? I think I've heard it before. <laughs> I was in a build stream with Kent when I was talking about we were doing staggertons or frame staples or some ridiculous build that I had no business trying to build. But Kent was explaining it to me, and I was saying, oh, I want to take off more wire just to be safe. And he's like, no. The correct amount of wire will be best. You don't need more wire to be safe. He's like, it's like you don't need a really extra long seatbelt to make yourself more safe. <laughs> yes, more you need the correct belt. amount of seatbelt. And so this whole like more seatbelt. Oh, oh, I need more seatbelt to be safer. Yeah, <laughs> I killed it. I was dying. More seatbelt. More seatbelt. <laughs> I need more seatbelt to be safer. Love you, fishy. Hope you're good. Uh, Ifer, aka ZD. I used my IPV with a 38 millimeter RD anon. Yep, that had a, a shit ton of hang, overhang. I guarantee you, the IPV4 was like this 20 big. millimeters thick. Yeah. It was a tiny little yeah. slice of a mod. Just overhang life. Look, I get it. Uh, Dave Davis, thank you for the signed dad hat. Oh, I'm glad it arrived. Oh my God, I'm so glad it arrived. I got it right before my birthday. What are your thoughts on high priced 3D printed Boro mods? High price 3D printed Boro mods is the topic of discussion tonight, even Beecher. Oh, I think it's garbage. Garbage? You just, you're like, I don't want to pay for someone else's work? Absolutely not. No, it's not someone else's work. It's just the material used. Yeah? It's plastic. And then you're going to charge someone 350 US dollars. And then on top of that, you have to spend a shit ton of money on a Boro. Like a bridge. Like, like a an bridge RBA. that's going to cost you $135. It's, you guys don't want my opinion. It's, I, <laughs> Major I'm, hates everything. I'm fully, I, I am against the overcharging of 3D, 3D printed, printed devices. devices. What if it's, I mean, there's differences though between really good, high quality 3D printing and cruddy, not as so. high quality 3D printing. I guess so. And so if you have a, a 3D printer that costs you $100,000 and it's like a Is commercial quality. Cost? Is it the going cost? I don't know. I just that was just a number that I made up. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Yeah. So even you if it would was think half that price, printing like new hearts or something, not like a mod. <laughs> you can't. Can you three D print invest a hundred thousand dollars to start selling mods? Yeah, like, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. If what about, if okay. I went and saw a whole bunch of devices and I had to choose between one that was made out of stainless steel or a high billet aluminum. I'm sure, choosing sure. those every time. Every single time? Every single time. You're not really. Because I kind of. I'm, I'm picking I up like, the little plastic one. What do you one. think of this? Yeah. If you step on this. Step on it. <laughs> I mean, don't put all your weight on it. Just a little bit? What if I. How much does it cost? How much did that cost you? Me? Yeah. Uh, how much does it cost retail? <laughs> Me? I actually don't know off, like, off the top of my head. But feel. I mean, look how thick that door is. Yeah, it's thick, but I could. That's I a guarantee firm... I can break this right now. With your hand? Yeah. I don't think you can. No, I can't. You can't. <laughs> ah, see, ah, see, I was confident. But, like, it's, uh, I mean, I just, I, I personally cannot see myself dropping hundreds of dollars for something like this. Okay. I just can't. Oh, like, look, hey, to each their own. I kind of agree, but I also... I also can see the appeal of a 3D printed mod. Like there's been some 3D printed mods I've seen where I'm like, oh, that's dope. Yeah. That's they just cool, dope. But it's just the price, the price tag attached it's to it. just dope. And is this guy like clicks a button, boop, and then goes to bed? Well, yeah. And then but he wakes like, up and there it is. No, look. I mean, look, look, look at what goes into it. There's, there's contacts. There's copper. There's an extra 3D printed piece right here that holds the whole contacts on the back. You... There's work involved. There's like assembly. There's finishing. Like it doesn't just come off the printer and they're like, oh, you want to buy this? It's right, like, for hundreds no, of we dollars. sand it off. We, we clear, we clean all the edges off. We pretty it up. We, we, we go over it, you know, and, and it, this one know, doesn't look there's bad. There's work. Yeah. 
This is like this. This is like a high quality 3D print. It's uh, I don't know. There's no click to it. No. There's no click on your know. mech mod. What are you talking about? You want to hear this, dude? There's no click on that mech mod. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I stand corrected. There is a click on that mech mod. It's just not. That's not. You're doing that. You don't do that every time you vape it. Just to hear the. <laughs> I love that click so much. I just yeah. There's no way you do that every time. Yeah, snowcap mods. I agree. Snowcap mods are great. There's some snowcap mods cost him ten dollars to make that. Frame he shouldn't Jenkins. charge. What does Frame Shanklin say? Uh, you're not going to want to drop any 3D printed mod uh, I have, and they break ninety nine percent of the time. I've broken 3D printed mods. Yeah. I had a snow cap uh, step, which was a side by side that I was I loved and I was using it like crazy. Dropped it, broke it, and then that's it. Once the once the body of a 3D printed mod breaks, that's it. Yeah, you can't repair it. You could glue it maybe, but I don't know. I mean, maybe, but you'd have to probably buy a whole new mod. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that dark. The, the dark there snow cap mods ginger vapes i like the snow cap stuff more than i like the the boxer stuff but like this what do you think of that it's a dna 100c 3d print so there's dna in here dna 100c yeah 21700 so that chip is by far the most expensive thing in this whole thing yeah 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 probably yeah 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 and what's the cost on this? Couldn't tell See, you off the top a, of my head. Oh. That's a good click. Yeah, that's a good yeah. click. Yeah. That's just the DNA. I think that's just a, that's the, a rocker that's on the, the DNA yeah, yeah, okay. on the DNA board. See, something like this with the DNA chip. Sure. A little Maybe bit you'd be willing to... to involved. Maybe I'd be like, is it 120? Okay. That's your ceiling? That's your limit for like a 3D printed mod? You're like... 100, 120 bucks, yeah, maybe. Like, I'm the kind of guy to use the same thing for three years. Right, right, yeah. That's true. And I always feel bad buying vape stuff. You like feel I, bad? I, yeah, because I, I don't need to. Like, at my house, I have hundreds of products. Yeah, I mean, same. Yeah, so like, I still when buy I'm like, stuff. oh, yeah, this this looks amazing, but do I need to buy it? How often am I going to use it? Is it going to be one of those things where now that now replaces my every day all day kind of thing yeah that's a maybe but that's a rare do you ever i just got like a regulated device remember i asked you i was like do you have any extra regulated devices and you're like oh you yeah, don't yeah. own any you don't yeah that's right you didn't own so one I regulated an device odin. oh and you like the odin <laughs> I, and i've used it a thousand times yeah i've dropped it i've dented it it's yeah. a workhorse. Yeah, Odin is. And that 100%. one's like 120 bucks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And it's a, and I have the DNA 200 one. Oh. The DNA version. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, amazing that's little, a little you know, pure brick. Pure brick. That's a pure brick. It's a pure brick. Yeah. Okay. So where look, are we? I get that. Oh, we were reading super chats, and then three we just so went straight uh, off topic. <laughs> Ray Buildable says. Uh, Put the RTA on the Kennedy 28, promise. I, look, I mean, that might work, but here's the thing, Ray Buildable. Is a single battery going to be any more, hit any harder than a parallel? I think a parallel is going to hit harder every single time. It might look good on the Kennedy, though. It would look sick on the yeah. Kennedy. I think it looks fine on the clutch. There's like a, a hair of overhang. Yeah. Hair. Yeah, that's hair not too bad. Overhang. I'm going to vape this again. Hair of overhang rebuildable. Uh, ZD says, uh, Cluck and Chowds. Cluck and Chowds. <laughs> Cluck and Chowds t shirt, please. Uh, that could probably be a thing. That could be a thing. Cluck and Chowds. Nobody would know. That's so, so obscure. Yeah. <laughs> Just Grim Army, Grim Green on the front, Cluck and Chowds on the back. Nobody would know what that means. Nobody would know what that means. Uh, we got Country Boy Drips. Yo Yo Grim Beecher, what's the name of the chocolate milkshake tasting beer you drink? And by the way, y'all missed a super chat from Georgia Boy and me, but this one's replacing the first one. Wait, what? 
No, we haven't we haven't chicks. gotten that far yet. Oh yeah, he did. Oh, did we did read that one? Right there. Nope. Yeah, read it. <laughs> oh, now you know. Yo yo, mutter trucks. I've been trying to remember the name of that beer you drink. That's like a chocolate shake. Do you remember? Yeah, it's the country boy. You're looking for Samuel Smith's. Organic oh, chocolate stout. That's such a good beer. Oh my god. That's such a good beer. Unbelievable beer. I get it all the One time when I go to the UK. Yeah. All the Samuel time. Samuel Smith is a yeah. UK company. Yeah. Their Tadcaster's good. The oatmeal stout's good. But the chocolate yeah. stout is the <clears throat> bomb.com. Yeah. Did we really miss one from Georgia Boy? No, we didn't miss one from Georgia Boy. We, I, we haven't gotten that far yet. <clears throat> Yeah, no, there's not even one from Georgia Boy. I thought I might have seen it. Let's go to the top. On the chat. Slater, New Wave Dave, SVK, Country Boy, ZD, Jingles, Barbara, New Wave Dave, Frank, Tribal Buddha, Zed, Zed, Ray Buildable, Zed, Country Boy, Ray. I didn't see it, Georgia Boy. I'm sorry. That's just as high up as you can go. Yes, the Kennedy slaps more than the clutch 100%. Ray? All right. Maybe after this stream, I'll give it a go on the Kennedy 28. I'm not sure where my Kennedy Kennedy 28 is right now. It might be down here. Oh, what about on this? That would be sick. <laughs> wow. Rastaman. Tribal Buddha sent me that. I really like it. Uh, I might not even have a Kennedy 28 in here. I have a Kennedy Vindicator and a Dreamer. I got a Ruby. I got a Roundhouse. Ruby 21? Yeah, Ruby 21. I got a Ruby, I got a Roundhouse. All right, let's try it on that. Let's try it on that. On this one, I need like a 21700. Oh, oh, here you go. It's like nine years of threads on there. Where's the <laughs> venting come from on this? The bottom? Yeah, just put the bat positive up. Positive up. It's just better that way. It's way safer to run your mech with the positive up. I don't know why Rig I've, started telling everybody to run it positive down. I run it where it vents because of battery vents from the positive side. Battery vents from everywhere. But yeah, so you run it wherever the vent holes is. That's what I do. Yeah, but you run, you have less a chance of venting it if you run it right side up. If you run it upside down, you have a higher chance of venting it. Because really? if you have a battery tear, if you have a wrap a tear in your battery wrap and you run it upside down, welcome to Hard Short City. Welcome to venting your battery, actually. What if the tear is on the other side, though? It can be on the side. It can be like if you have a tear on the side of your battery and you run it upside down, worse. How does, how does that By a make bunch any sense? Than if you run it right side up. Oh. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to trust me. Unless I'm lying, which could be the case. So, it's up to you. What do you think about that? Oh, that looks sick. That looks sick. I wish I could. This would be... <clears throat> Whoa! Okay, now hey, cooking, now. Man. Maybe Ray Buildable was right this whole time. Maybe a single battery mech is what this needed. Yep. Is that it? How is that real life? It's a single battery mech. These things rule. How's that real life? That's better than the clutch and better than the guar. That's where it's at. A fully charged 21700 right there. Hell yeah. And that doesn't look too bad. If I could buy this Oxva Abita from Gunny, this is a, like, I would send this to Ashton Palmer and have him do a full powder coat, something dope on this whole thing and the top. You don't like that vibe? I do, but maybe I would have him do this. Like if he could color match this green, I would make this Arbita that same green color. Uh, okay. You know? Yeah. That would be sick. That thing is a heavy hitter right there. Heavy hitter. And I really like this switch. I love side fires. I don't. Side fires are my favorite. This is the only side fire I like. I've had a, I've had a suicide from suicide mods and I've had a, a slam piece from Purge. Yeah. No. This is the only one. I don't I like a, the other ones. I have a side fire from Bullet from Spain. One of my favorites. 
dude. Yeah, that thing rips. Dude, that thing is ripping hard now. Yeah, I kind of want to like take this mech home. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good it. mech. It's a good mech. I ran that mech for a long time. I keep it. I mean, that's a regular mech that comes out in rotation. That's a locking switch, I think. Oh, this is in the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom. You can lock it, and it'll just cover up know. that. Why'd you do that? Would you break it? Oh well, tribal boot up. That's fine. No, I just Beecher it just down broke too much. my. No, I tightened it down too much. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I'm right on that frames, Jenklin? I think I am. And if I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. But I might be right about that. What? Battery positioning. No, I don't, up or down. I think you're wrong. I think I'm right. Why? Why does it matter if it's upside down? If the wrap, if the wrap tears on the side, and it vents from the positive, it'll. That's the least point of resistance because there's okay but really so if the battery's up and there's a tear on the side it's gonna vent if it's upside sure. down it's gonna vent but, too uh, right i'm saying but there's a higher risk of it vaping if it's upside down there's a higher risk of it vaping if venting if it's upside down rather than right side up i have mooch been... we need battery mooch yeah, i know right i Get really need screen. battery mooch i have always in especially specifically in mech mods Wherever the holes are in the mod. Right, that's where you generally I, That's point. where I put my positive my positive side. And I will never have a tear in my battery. And if there is a tear in my battery, right, that thing is right. rewrapped like yeah. I stop same, my day. Same, same, same. My day stopped same, and I same. go rewrap it. Me too, same. Yeah. But I'm just saying that there are I mean, I I've never worked in a vape shop. Me neither. You've never worked in a vape no. shop. But I've talked to people who work in vape shops and seen pictures of the gear that people bring in and it's and be like yeah. why isn't this working and yeah, it's yeah. like oh my god well, like why are you running a trust fire upside down on a you know well i've had so many of my friends come over to my house and they'll be like oh i need some new coils or something like that and i'm like oh yeah i'll install it. and i take it take their shit apart and yeah. pull the battery out and i'm like yeah. what the fuck like like oh my god like this thing is like there's Volatile. like no wrap on this battery like what is happening what are there? you doing and i'm like here i'm gonna <laughs> I'm setting these aside and I'm going to give you two brand new batteries because this is the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> uh, there was a lot of, uh, oh, whoops. Hang on. I'm sorry. I'm so back. I'm far, far, far back here in the chat. Uh, let's see. Rifleman. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. That's, uh, yep. Oh, oh, look. Apathy Miller. Also, Grim is correct. Yep. We don't know what you're talking Looks about. Like that uh, Grim is correct. Uh, sorry, Steve. I'm going to have to ban you now. Grim is wrong. That's <laughs> unacceptable. Really. That's fine, Steve. Dave. That's fine. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is something to be discussed further. But I think I believe that your battery has a higher chance of venting if it's upside down rather than being right side up, and I don't. I don't know why. I can't explain it to we'll you. We'll get into this. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll figure it out. That's we'll, dope. I'm just going to start DMing This is staying image. set up. Yeah. That's this a good is staying one. set up. That's, yeah. Is that a brand new battery? Yeah. Like, has it, has it ever been used? Yeah, yeah, it has. Okay. It's just an Ohm Tech. It's just an Ohm Life battery. Oh, really? It's probably three months uh. old. I just got it. I have like a half sponsorship with Ohm Life Ohm Tech in that. They don't pay me any money, but sometimes they send me batteries. Mm. And so I've been sending batteries like 18650s, 21700s out in boosh boxes. Well, um, I still think that I'm correct, and you can't change my mind. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Of course you can change my mind. Um, what are we going to do now that the vlog's almost over? Uh, we have to do some news. We have to do some news. It's six thirty. We've been going for two hours already. Here, can uh, I can I can I say something real quick? Uh, yeah. Can we go give ahead. them the chance to vote on those while we do news? No, no. Kill two birds with one stone. No, we don't need to kill two birds with one stone. I'm trying, guys. We're gonna do. Uh, here's the schedule. Okay. Quick. I'm gonna do this really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on news right. today. I'm not in a news kind of mind. Okay. I'm not in a news headspace. We got some mail. Star Wars giveaway, okay. liquid, liquid tasting. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Liquid tasting. So we're good. I'm trying, guys, to keep them on okay. schedule. Uh, it's time for some news. Uh, let's get back here. Um, what's been going on? I don't know. I don't want to hear. Here's what I wanted to get your your take on. This is this is going to be like pretend news, you know? 
Yeah. Pretend news. Uh, it's gonna be. Let's see. I saw. I found this comment on Reddit. Here we go. I found this comment on Reddit. I found this comment on Reddit, and I'd like to get everybody's take on it. Vaping rant as an ex-smoker. This person says, uh, is anyone getting sick of the question, do you smoke? And then your answer is no, I vape, and they look at you like you're an idiot, like one of those people who think vaping is cool and never actually used it to quit smoking. It's so annoying. It's hard to quit smoking, which we all know, but it seems if you used a vape to stop, you cheated. Fucking annoying. Have you run into this? Yeah. Yeah. All my, the time, right? My dad. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad. Yeah. He, he. A long time ago, he told me to quit smoking like a man. Quit smoking like a man. Yeah, like a man. Just fucking quit. Just stop. Yeah, just quit. Just control Mind yourself. Mind you, he smoked for, you know, 30, 40 sure, years. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Did he quit, though? He did. And he did it the hard way. He did it the hard way. Yeah. 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 And I was like, well, I don't want to, you know, I still, I like nicotine. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's what I always say too. And yeah, I've, it's a constant thing because I'm always vaping. People are like, oh, people are like, what is that? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, it's, it's vape, vape. Just vaping. They're like, oh, did you smoke? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, actually I did. And I don't care if you smoked or not. No. Chances are. If you see someone vaping, that they smoke cigarettes. Yeah. The the amount of nicotine naive people picking up vaping and actually sticking with it is, it's not even a statistic. No, and it, I've it's, only it's nothing. I've only known one person who didn't smoke, who before picked up vaping? they started vaping, and then they vaped zero milligram. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a perfectly yeah. That's a yeah. And there, I worked with a guy. Uh, we called him Holiday. But I worked with this dude Holiday, and he didn't smoke, he didn't vape, but he wanted to vape. He saw me vaping. He's like, I want to try that, you know, because we used to go to the casinos and like play blackjack and things like yeah. this, and he kind of wanted something to do, yeah. you know, and that type of thing. So I, I, I told him where to go and where to buy all this stuff, and he bought uh, this Mech mod that was uh, 18650 Mech with an RDA on it, and he built it, and he was vaping it, and he vaped it for like three days. And then one day at work, I was like, oh, you didn't bring your vape? He's like, nah. Yeah. Like, ah, I'm just immediately over it. He yeah. was vaping nicotine. He went from no nicotine to nicotine and then was just like, eh, yeah. don't care. Yeah. Over it. Yeah. Like sold it. Didn't even care. Yeah. I would say 99.4% of all vapors smoked yeah, beforehand. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Maybe more than that. Maybe more than that. And like, but I... I don't like the mentality, and I'm not trying to take a dig at your dad or anything, but the mentality of, well, I did it the hard way, yeah, so you should do it the hard way. It that like, way it was hard for me, so it should be hard yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. No. No. Not at all. No. That's why we have automatic cars now. And when I actually started vaping, it wasn't to quit smoking. Like, it was just another, I was like, I want nicotine to taste good. Right, sure, 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 you know, sure, sure. I never went into but it like... But you just inadvertently quit smoking. In the smoking back of my head, it. I was like, you know, obviously cigarettes are bad for you. Obviously. But it wasn't like, I'm, I am I, want to quit smoking cigarettes, so like, let's go do this. Mm. I had a buddy who was vaping, and I was like, damn, that tastes good. <laughs> you know, I was like... <laughs> was, was like that cherry and cheesecake? And you, and you, and you don't shit. have to smoke cigarettes? He's like, no, I don't anymore. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Okay, so you didn't have any intention of quitting smoking? You're like, I'll smoke and vape at the same time. No, because at the time I got 24 milligram nicotine, you know, it was like 2010. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, you know, yeah, coming yeah. out of that that place, Freedom Smoke America, uh, I didn't even want a cigarette. That's the thing. You didn't even want one. I tried so many flavors at 24 milligram that I walked out and I was like, I don't even need a cigarette. And I just kept using the, the little tiny device the one where you drop a couple drops of liquid in there oh yeah put the tip back on oh yeah yeah those were terrible like yeah. the little joy tech 510 yes. atomizers yeah Woo. <laughs> yeah you had to earn it back in the day yeah if you wanted to quit with gear like with that gear like that yeah you, you had to really want you had to, to really want to but use that it gummy bear flavoring <sighs> gummy bear gummy bear that was my jam that was what got you off cigarettes yeah, gummy bear flavors yeah that's crazy and orange just orange Orange, like yeah. orange from China, just 
just orange. orange. What brand or what? F- it was all mixed in house. It was a place called just Freedom a shop. Smoke. It Freedom was a Smoke? giant place that had a catalog. You walk oh. in with a thick ass book of like oh. black licorice and like every flavor under the sun, and you'd be like, I want to try this one, I want to try this one, I want to try this one, and they'd go back there and pull out these little tiny sample bottles, put two drops, you try it, and then when you picked out your flavors, they'd go in another room and mix liquid right there. Yeah. Shake it up. There you go. And there you go. Here's your orange. Yeah, but it was never like, like a sick. cherry cheesecake with all right, like right, right. 15 different yeah, flavorings. Like blueberry. And it was just orange. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could re- recreate that orange flavor. Like just buy some I'm sure, yeah. Capella orange. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. And just PG, VG, Nick. Yeah. And then one flavor, yeah. orange. 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 And I, I love that shit. Orange. Yeah. Do you think you liked it so much because you didn't have a sense of taste because of your smoking of cigarettes? I always oh, think I'm about sure. that with my old liquids. I'm like, I used to love that, but I wonder if I loved it because I couldn't taste oh, I'm anything. Sure. I'm sure. Because when I stopped smoking, I started tasting everything. Yeah. Yep. Especially yep. being a chef, like it, it kind of like changed everything. A lot of chefs smoke. A lot of them. What is do. that? Why do they smoke? Don't they it's need just their the, senses? It's the culture. It's just you smoke. You just you drink. Smoke. You just you fucking cut people with knives. You're, <laughs> you're just like pirates. You're kitchen pirates. It was. It was just. It was. It was a whole lifestyle. Yeah, I'd smoke. You know. Orange. Naturals. You glad you quit smoking? Because <laughs> you know the orange. I like what Matt said in chat. My wife will vape with a beer, but just because she enjoys the two together. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I don't. That doesn't bother me literally in any capacity. No. I think. If you're above, if you're a, a legal adult American, there's so much stuff we should be allowed to do. Yeah. We should just be Short told of the relative somebody, is, Right, right. Do whatever. Murder, obviously. Yeah. Murder, rape. You know, yeah. there's terrible <laughs> things that we shouldn't yeah. be allowed to do, obviously. But far removed from society, if I want to be in my house and drink a bunch of liquor, I can and no one will stop me. If I want to be in my house and smoke a shit ton of weed, I can, and no one will stop me. The crazy thing is, so many people will join you. So many people will join. But then the vaping thing, they're like, "What the fuck?" It's yeah, gonna, it's, like nicotine. That's gonna kill you. Nicotine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's as it's as addictive as heroin. <laughs> it's like that's not what he meant by that, but that's too yeah. nuanced of a subject, you know, <laughs> to talk about right now. It's not what he meant by that. Yeah, so I'm cool with uh, literally anybody above age. If you want to enjoy some recreational nicotine, look, uh, nicotine is a, a neuroprotective, you know, it has neuroprotective benefits to it. There's actual benefits to consuming nicotine. You have nicotinic receptors in your brain that know how much nicotine that you like yep. and that will keep you satisfied. Mm-hmm. And that's why it kills me when I see these news reports from like PAVE or like Bloomberg that's like, well, you know, one of these disposables has enough nicotine for 30 cigarettes yeah. and you go, who cares? There's no benefit to overdoing it with nicotine. Yeah. These kids aren't getting nicotine and then just huffing it like well, you're crazy. Not smoking 30 cigarettes at the same time. Yeah, You're either. not smoking 30 cigarettes at the same yeah. time either. There's no benefit to overdoing it with nicotine. No. There's zero benefit. So the more nicotine there is, all that means is it will help someone quit smoking because there's no benefit to overdoing it. Yeah. Literally no benefit to overdoing it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cut news and advocacy pretty short. There's one thing. There's literally one mm. thing. Go, 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 uh, go, here, go. here it is, here it is. We're gonna watch this.
You self-medicate. <laughs> Michelle, yes, Michelle, I'm sorry. Michelle, there's loads of data, loads of data, loads of studies that show that neurodivergent people like with ADHD or anxiety, they will self-medicate with nicotine, which is why you find people who have anxiety smoking cigarettes. And people like the Truth Initiative will tell you smoking causes anxiety. That's why so many people with anxiety smoke. Their anxiety came from smoking, but really they're self-medicating with nicotine. They're self-medicating with nicotine and it helps anxiety. It helps it helps things like that. So let's listen to, uh, I can't see her Irene name. Irene Patel. Irene Patel, who is a respiratory physician. Talking about popcorn lung, let's go. Let's go, Irene. Popcorn lung, go. So popcorn lung is a, um, a descriptor for an inflammatory condition of the lung, uh, which results in narrowing of the breathing tubes uh, um, and scarring. Um, it was described again some decades ago in the US. Um, it's related to a chemical called di diacetyl, which um, was found to cause this kind of lung problem potentially um, in workers who were um, in a factory that was making um, microwave popcorn. And it was, connect it was linked to the flavoring that was used to make that popcorn taste more buttery. And clearly, um, you know, those people were inhaling that chemical and, and it appeared to cause this problem in their lungs. There are many other causes of, of this popcorn lung, uh, so-called, um, which is medically called literature bronchiolitis. But there have been no described cases of pop tongue, popcorn lung related to electronic cigarettes. That just simply hasn't been seen. That just simply hasn't been seen. Just simply yeah. hasn't been seen. But you still see it all the time. The World Health organization calls out popcorn lung as one of the whoa be careful yeah this is the dangers of vaping popcorn lung it's not a thing doesn't exist london tobacco alliance says so london tobacco alliance is my new favorite twitter account they're just posting fire on top of fire on top of fire they had uh this nurse this dude who was a nurse for 37 years talking about the efficacy of, you know, vaping for tobacco harm reduction. Uh, and it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. How Everybody should follow London Tobacco Alliance. How did she pronounce that again? Uh, incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> she said diacetyl. 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 Yeah. Diacetyl. Diacetyl. Sh chances are she's correct. She's right. Yeah. yeah. She's correct about that. Diacetyl. 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 So, if anybody ever tells you that vaping causes popcorn lung, just I'll put the link to this tweet in the description. You send them this video, you say, oh, well, what, what did this respiratory physician from the London Tobacco Alliance say about popcorn lung? Oh, that it's not a real thing, that it doesn't exist, that it's just a big, hypey, scaremongering word designed to keep people smoking cigarettes and designed to sow doubt about less harmful alternatives. Yeah, that that's exactly what it is. That's 100% what it is. Yep, I agree. All right, Mountain Dew, in honor of you, we're going to end we're going to end that news and advocacy. I'm going to put some links down in the description. I'll put links to that. Uh, I'll put links to some other things uh, in the description of this video. But since Beecher's here, we don't have a whole mess of time. And so what we're going to do You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? My favorite segment of the day. D Oh. Uh, we got we got some mail. I got I'm gonna open up some mail. This is all uh, like I said. I, I believe this is all Chinese mail. I think it, I think it all came from China. Then there's a few other advocacy things. You know, I had some science prepared, but it's okay. We'll do that next week. I'm gonna tell you guys join Casa. Please join Casa. Follow Legalize Vaping Australia because they have a petition going right now to petition your MPs for reasonable vape regulations in Australia. They're a great organization. I'll put their link down in the description. 
diacetol. Apparently, Phil, that's that's the correct way to say it. I say diacetyl because I think it sounds cool. Diacetyl. 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 All right, give me a knife. I'll tell you give one me thing. a knife, bro. I'll tell you one thing. I'm gonna fill up this abita. Give me a knife. Hang on. Can I fill up the? I abita? get to do vape mail. Yeah, my favorite segment. All right. Well, when you're opening those, just try not to dox me because my address is all over the outside of them. Don't show your address. Yeah. Okay. Normally, the vape mail comes from my P.O. box, but these particular vape mails arrived to my residence. This one's definitely And I'm not trying China, to trying to dox a myself. Post on it. This is like fucking setup of the yeah, year right here. One. I love that this thing. Hits. hits. What's the saying? Cut towards your vital organs. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Cut towards your buddy, not your body. But we changed it to please cut towards your vital organs. You're going to close it every time like I do. Yep. Just like that. Just right. like that. Box number one. Let's see what I got. Oh, we're going we're gonna to address that poll, Darth Vapor. We're going to address it in just a moment. What was that dance you just did? Who, me? The little Jimmy? When you stood up and shook oh, your... I shook my shorts off. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is happening in my office right now? I did make sure that there's no beer in here while I slice open the packaging. Yeah. Well, Beecher might be able to build faster than me, but I can definitely open vape mail faster. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? What did you get? I got not one. Oh, but okay, two okay, okay. Things from China. China. Uh, so these may end up being uh, some uh, Yo Yo Bush box stuff. We got some. Uh, we got some Nevox feeling A1 pods and some Nevox feeling A1 pods and batteries. Um, I didn't necessarily request these. Is that a resealable bag? What's in there? A lanyard. A lanyard. Oh, it's not just a lanyard, bro. Is that a beer opener? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a beer opener? No. It's a... Uh, hang on. It's, a, it's like a satchel. Oh, it's a pod holder. It's a pod satchel. So I can get my feeling A1 out here. Hang on. Where'd you go, buddy? I don't know where it is. I don't have it. But the idea is you put your knee box in here, and it even is going to line up with the button and the air slots. Oh, look at that. Kind of right on top. Yeah. There you go. Just goes right in. And now you have a leather holder that's your battery. Here's the thing. I'm not a lanyard guy. Are you a lanyard guy? I'm not, no. So here's the thing. I went to uh, uh, New Zealand with uh, Matt and Bogan. And Bogan, even in the UK, even in Germany, even in New Zealand, he rocked his Cross 3 Nano with a lanyard the whole time. And I thought, I want to do that. Like, if he can do it, I could get away with it. Yeah. Couldn't. No. I felt too too dorky. I used it was a little too dorky for me. One time I did was the King of Clouds tour in Indonesia. I used it for the Vapresso. Yeah, yeah. The little pod. Yeah. But I, I never used. It was just hanging there. I never you, used like, it. I had my pod. mod. <laughs> <laughs> so you just hang it around your neck and then vape your mod. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Thanks, China. We appreciate that. Yeah. Look, I this isn't something I requested, but Nevox is like a. I don't know. They seem like good people. They seem like a good company. They've been wanting to review the A1 for a long time. And like, if something's good, it's good. If yep. it's bad, it's bad. I don't care otherwise. Like, if Nevox is really nice or really mean, it's like, I don't care either way because your product's good and that's what I care right. about. But with that said, Nevox feel like they're like a very, you know, they hit me up on the side and they're like, we are so happy that you like our device. I'm like, you made a good product. Like I don't like it because of you or yeah. you're, that you're being nice to me or that you sent it to me. I like it because it's good. 
I don't know. I yeah, get no, a yeah, weird yeah, space no, yeah, where yeah, they're like, yeah. we're going to send you some more just because, yeah. you know, you did such a good review of it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. I'm going to give those away. Yeah. That's not why I did the review. Yeah. But thank yeah. you, you know. But they seem like legitimately nice, like a nice company. You ready for these? Yeah. There's three. What is it? Oh, baby. Speaking of. Oh. Okay, Vapresso. This is the uh, Vico Go. Has anybody heard of the Vico before? The Vico Go. Yeah, we got some other colors too there. Got like a little pink. Yeah. And like, like, a, like a midnight bluish gunmetal gray. I think this is uh, tubular in design. It is tubular. It is tubular. Radular. Do you remember when tubular was like a slang word that you used tubular. for like cool? Yeah. It's like, oh, tubular. tubular. Yeah. Why did we say that? I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Whoa, I like mama. That, I like that colorway. Feel the size of that. Oh, wow. That's honking 9,000. That's a huge battery. All right, hang on. Vigo Go here. 5 mil capacity, a 0.6 and a 0.8. So I don't know what's in there now. There's no spare coil head, so I couldn't tell you what's in the inside. Oh, that's the .6 pod, 1500 ma. Yeah, that's a large. That's a large battery. That's a large battery. I want to vape that like literally right now. Here, do it. I'm gonna. You open that. You do that. Can't stop me. I might take one of these for myself if you like them enough. We'll put those over there. You want the midnight blue one, don't you? I do. Yeah, I can tell. I do. How do you feel about bottom fill on a pod? I know nothing about it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about bottom fill? Doesn't really bother me so much. As long as it's easy to fill and doesn't get messy or leaky, then I'm good. I prefer the crack to fill. I'll just say that out of the gate. I prefer crack to fill. All I really see, like, I can't even think about this pod right now because all I want to do is vape that Abita. The Abita. That's all I can think about. It vapes so fucking good. And that cherry cheesecake is like the final little piece that's like. <sighs> This I is can't believe awesome it hits, vape it hits now. better than the the Guar mod. I can't believe that either. I can't believe it hits better than the clutch. Whoops. Oh, I got I locked it. Damn. Oh god, it's not firing now. What does that mean? I shorted it. Is my battery warm? Is it black on the inside? Here, let me see. I don't know, it's just not firing. Feature help. It's not warm. Okay. Yeah. When you fire it, nothing happens on a Mac. That's scary. I'm just going to take the battery out. We'll yeah. figure this out. Yeah, we'll but take it stopped firing, guys. Yeah, the universe doesn't want me to vape that Oxfoot. It's like, vape the feeling A1 around your it's neck. because the battery... Was, was positive right side, side up. up. Uh, yeah. That's why it's probably. Firing. Yeah. You know, if you would have known how to use it. Let's put it upside down and see what really happens, huh? It's really <laughs> party here. I thought. I don't know. It's not that. No. Can I? Should I put it upside down? I do not need to vent another battery on a stream, dude. That's already happened <clears> once. <throat> I had to do a whole safety vlog the I next know, week. I remember. Like, it's like a big thing. I told you. It's the battery I, the I whole just time. Proved you wrong. Should have been upside down. Oh. Hits harder now. Yeah, it hits harder. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's good. Well, okay, we're back. Let's get to this pod. Okay. What do you got there? Oh, you want me to keep going? Yeah. While you do that? that? Yeah, what's that? What you got there? Up next, they sent Coil Turd some uh, Geek Vape. Oh, shit. Q Pods. The Weenax Q, you guys. Have you seen these before? No, but I'm a big fan of the Weenax in general. The Weenax, original Weenax is in my, like, Vape Pod Hall of Fame. Oh. So that's a Weenax Q. We finally got the Weenax Q. This is one of those pods that in the comments people are like 
you should review the Weenax Q. Review the Weenax oh, Q. Really? And I always say, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can try no longer. Ooh, that orange one yeah, is wanna, sick. Should I pop that one open real quick? Yeah, maybe we'll Oh, it's sunset it. yellow. Yeah, it looks orange. Or do you not want to open this? Well, it's all got to get opened eventually. We can certainly open it up and look at it. We don't have to vape okay. it right now. I think this this feels like it's designed to go after disposable people because of the size and because of the capacity. Ooh, it even has an adjustable airflow on it. How does... Oh, shit. The, oh, pod, the pod adjusts pod the airflow. That's pretty cool. Holy crap, Vapresso. That's slick as hell. Cheers. Let's give this a try. That's nice. Holy shit. I don't know if this is going to be tight enough for you. Tweet! Well, it's adjustable airflow. How's it feel? Oh, this is girthy. Girthy? Yeah. Girthier than this? Look at that. Whoa. What do you want me to do with that? Ready? Here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Girthy? Yeah. Girthy, he says. It's heavy duty. You got adjustable airflow right Heaven there. Duty. Rock this reminds roll. me of the Oxva Pro. Oxva Slim Pro? Yeah. You think that's the market they're going after? They're trying to copy Oxva? It's possible. They could never copy the Abita. It's a good one. All right, we next Q. Yeah. Just prove it. That. Go. Boom! Crack to fill. Tell me about crack to fill. Also, look at the size of this thing. I think this is uh, for disposable people. I think they're trying to attract people who use disposables with to this. To go after the pod yeah. market. Yeah, to go after this big this big Vaporesso guy. I don't know about the Weenax, but this one for sure. Can we talk about rainbow? Can we talk everything? about burning the pod? Why are you turning it? Oh, you turned it off. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's not on? rainbow. No, that's, that's just, just three RGB. colors. Yeah, it's literally three colors. Green, gr green blue, red. What? Why did I turn it on? Yeah. I just wanted to see the interface. Oh. Now it's locked. 12 pod. Pood? 12 pood. That doesn't say pood. Yeah, it does. T prove it. Pood. Oh, that... Okay, that does say pood. pood. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What else? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, we got some other colors. Oops. Let's get back to uh, some sense of normalcy. Oh, God. My camera battery is exhausted. All right. Here we so are. So that means we're just going to freestyle like hey. this for a second. That's good. This is actually better. We're actually more in focus now than we were before with the big camera. Weenax. It's what a name. Weenax? I know. Who it doesn't make any sense. That? There's the other one right there. Weenax. Try that. While I get a camera battery. I actually like that draw. That's the tightest it'll go. That's the tightest. That guava, though. Dude, so good. That guava, though. It's crazy good. It's so good. Walks for Avida. It's not better than an Avida, though. Not better than an orbiter. Even wide open's not too bad. No, I like it wide open. I prefer it wide open. I prefer that wide open. Give me that wide open. It's wide closed. All right. Well, that's actually vaping really good. I just cruising through mail oh, right now. Did I unplug it? Is that what's really going on here? I am just cruising through mail. Crushing it. It's okay. We have a liquid tasting and a Star Wars giveaway to do. Oh, oh, I should go pick out a uh, Star Wars uh, gift. Star Wars gift baggie. I'll go pick a Star Wars toy. I'll do that when people, when everybody's voting for the liquid tasting. Yeah. We'll do the liquid tasting. No, we got to do a Star Wars giveaway first. Liquid tasting's last. So it's already written down. There's no, oh there's no going back.
Anakin. Oh no. I mean. <laughs> oh no. That we got the Inakin Cool Fire Z60, the Inakin Gozi, and the Inakin Clips. I've already reviewed the clips. Hey, but that's okay. I appreciate it all the same, Inakin. I can get these are things I can give away, but there is also a uh, here we can just use this. Pow! What you know about that Inakin Gozi? That's the one. If there's one I want to open, it's this one. It's the Gozi. I just want to see what it looks like. Don't you? Have you ever tried the Focus. clips? Focus, no. Look at that little, look at that little thing. I mean, listen, you want to talk about 3D printed mods versus aluminum. Let's talk about pure plastic. That's not 3D printed, that's just plastic. Yeah, you should buy it at Walmart. Right. I feel like this device should be $13 max. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dang, they really don't want you to scratch that. And thing. there's one on the screen. What else we got in here? We got a bunch of stuff in this box. There's a bunch of a mess of Inakin stuff? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, we got some disposables what's that george boy you hit up the discords what do you want me to do your wish is my command george boy blueberry bubble gum oh they're disposables Ties. disposables yeah let's open some disposables some two percent which is 20 milligram see look at this it's super plastic it's like it feels like it what weighs zero this? Zero weight here. You're not going to be able to see that. Pods sold where, where, where should I put it? Over here? Is this? Can you be the focus over here? Just kidding. Feel it. It's just plastic. Oh, yeah. It feels like a toy. It's nothing. It feels like yeah. a Lego brick. Yeah. Internal battery. So that's as heavy as it's ever going to be. Yep. That's actually kind of dope. That Look at that. That rattles like an Inception does. Damn, they got... Oh, okay. We'll okay. start with those. There's some disposables. These are some disposables. Let's taste Pop them. Let's do open. a very random disposable tasting literally right now. Oh, there's pods? Pre-filled pods. For the Innobar? Yeah. So this isn't quite a disposable. It's a pre-filled pod the system. Oh, device. oh, I see. I People see. I want that white one if they're good enough. <laughs> There's a, <laughs> well, that's why you're here. Just to take whatever you want. I was hoping you'd show up and take all my stuff. Mango Passion Ice, Blueberry Bubblegum, Classic Tobacco. Classic Tobacco? Yeah. That piques my interest. All right. Uh, peach Ice. Oh, I got a trash can, you know. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah. The oh, you're going to try this out right now? Yeah, I am. Because you're like, if, the, what, if this is good, I want this white battery. Yeah, it's, it's just white. What makes you think I'm going to give you the white battery? I'll take the black one then. What makes you think I'm going to give you anything? Just because you come over to my house, cook me dinner, take me to Disneyland? <laughs> you think that deserves a, a free pod? That's crazy. <laughs> you're out of your mind. I'm going to try this peach ice. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. It's 30 milligram. 20. 30. 2%. Why does it say, why is there a big 30 on the front? 2%. Why does it say 30%? Oh, 30% 30 water. water. What? That's right. This? this is different e liquid. This is the Aquios e liquid. This is the same Aquios e liquid that's in Escobars. If you ever had Escobars, which uh, are yeah. really like bomb disposables, same. Water. Aquios. It's, 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 there's something with more distilled water or something. In okay. It. I don't know exactly if, if Phil or Dimitri was here, they could give us the rundown on the, uh, on the, on the, on the Aquios and how it works. I'm going to try the peach ice. Super nice. I'm going to try the, uh, mango passion ice. That is crazy. Good. Try that. 
That's stupid. Oh, that's good. That's stupid. Why is that flavor so good? No. Okay, so that rules. <laughs> that rules, and uh, what's the green one? Or what's the purple one here? Blueberry. Blueberry. Blueberry bubblegum. Blueberry bubblegum. Cheers, down the hatch. Over the lips and through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here we go. That's bomb too. This reminds me exactly of what I used to vape back in the day. My first all day vape was a blueberry. It was just a Chinese blueberry. I would just order blueberry. That's what it tasted yeah. like. That is just it. I don't taste the bubble gum too much. Mm, it's like blueberry ice. What do we put in this inno bar? Uh, mango passion ice. Eh, it's pretty good. It's not as good as the disposables. Why isn't it as good? I don't know. It's supposed to be the same thing, just with just with pods. Get out that tobacco. I want to try the tobacco. Are Those are for the goes or for the gozer pod. The gozer pod. The gozy. Oh, the gozy. For the gozy. Okay. Well, That's we got some gozy. of those. What do you want me to get out? The tobacco the pod. Tobacco. Yeah, I want to try the tobacco pod. While we're while we have so much extra time. <laughs> We got a half hour to do a Star Wars giveaway and a liquid tasting. Like, I feel like this is easily accomplishable. Get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a dick thing to do. Get that. Classic tobacco. Classic tobacco. pretty classic tobacco it's not amazing but it's not negative like it's pleasurable it's kind of just meh it's kind of just there it's kind of just mid as they say these days it's a little mid it's a mid tobacco well that's all she wrote for for vape mails look we got some pods we got some disposables i don't know you know when vape mail comes from china that's kind of what i expect to be fair this goes does have like a mouth to lung Pod based tank with it. The Inican Cool Fire Zly. Ooh, Zotop. that smells good. Lavender Vanilla. We can thank Anthony Ramella for those. Anthony Ramella, Anthony Ramella. He's a hell of a fella. This peach ice is too good. It's only 20 milligram, but that's too good. That's way too good. You know, you know one thing I really like about Inakin and will respect about Inakin is. They didn't just get into the disposable game really quickly like literally everybody else did. Yeah. They didn't do it. And then when they did do it, one of the first disposables they released was completely recyclable like it was cardboard. And you could twist it and pull the battery out and recycle the housing and oh, recycle cool. this thing. But nobody cared. Yeah. Like they didn't sell because <laughs> nobody, like nobody cared enough about recycling to really yeah. recycle anything. So they were, you know... It was like, well, these are a little bit more expensive, but they're recyclable. It's like, all right, well, I'll take the cheap one I can th- I can throw away. Right. So I, you know, I have a lot of respect for Inakin. Yeah. Shit, that's good. Holy shit, that's good. Holy cow. All right, you guys. Well, uh, we are winding down. We do have a little bit of a deadline tonight. Seven thirty is uh, is kind of our cutoff. Because uh, bi- other important beach or business things need to happen. Maybe I've already said too much. No, I have a, I have a business. He's thing. releasing a disposable. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> He's releasing a disposable. <laughs> it's called the disposable for quitting cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. No, that's not what it's called. I do have a meeting, though, at 730. Yeah, he has a meeting at 730. Yeah. So we're going to try to wrap this up within the next half hour. That's it for mail. That's it for mail. Honestly, this peach ice disposable... Blueberry I'm, I'm excited too. about the K1 or the Weenax. And honestly, this vapes with the guava jelly in it, I prefer it to the peach. Mm, mm-hmm. This blueberry one's good. The guava's better than both of them, though. Well, yeah. You ever do this? 
Could you talk about the end of it, Pod? I don't. <laughs> yeah, see, there's no point in overdoing it with nicotine. As the second that you go a little bit overboard with nicotine, you're like, nope, yep. done, yep. done. Pointless to overdo it. I don't know why they keep going on and on about nicotine content. It doesn't matter. All right, here's the thing. I don't know that any actually came in, but I'd still like to look. Uh, Southern Comfort, SoCo checking in. Shout out to DeSantis, but Trump 2024. Hey, listen, SoCo, I'm going to tell you what I always tell you, what I tell everybody. Vote your hopes. Just vote your hopes. Vote for the person that you believe in. And if you don't believe in anybody, don't vote. That's what I'm going to say every single time. Every single time. I'm going to say that the lesser of two evils is still evil and that the enemy of my enemy is not my friend. Those are tenants that I just live by. So fuck yeah, vote your hopes, so SoCo. I'm happy to see your face. I still think about you, bro, in Florida, riding your motorcycle, and I hope when you really rev the engine, you shout something like, this is for Grim Green. Like, that's all I've ever wanted. Just let me live vicariously through your motorcycle. I want a motorcycle, probably never own a motorcycle because human crayon, you know? I don't want to... My, my family would disown me. My wife would divorce me. My friends would disown me if I bought a motorcycle. Yeah, I would, what would I'm happen. not allowed to get a motorcycle either. Do you want a motorcycle? No, it scares me. It does scare me, but that's why I, I want I've it. I've ridden them. You've ridden, oh, I've never oh, ridden yeah. a motorcycle. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, but I, I just, I, I'm a fast driver. You are a fast driver. Yeah. I've been so, in your car. You know, 60% offensive driver. Yeah, yeah. I might get injured. I well, might not. You never know, but. Happy to see your face, SoCo. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, buddy. De Dee Dee, damn it. Truly enjoy watching you two have such a good time. It's hard to not have a good time just hanging out with Beecher. Fuck yeah. <laughs> nope. uh, and then uh, thanks for making my Thursday evening really bussin'. Bussin'. Why do people keep spelling this incorrectly? Uh, dangle clacks and all. Yeah. You know, dangle clacks, that's just part of the Grim Green experience. When you're here, there's dangle clacks. Ray Buildable says, all I vape is single 21700 with a 0.8 coil, 0.08 coils. I should have listened to you, Ray. You know what? I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. It slaps. It slaps on a single battery. It does. But why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What good are you? Uh, Super Nate, I quit dipping Copenhagen Mint and Extra Long Cut Natural with vaping. Nowadays, I use Zins at work, and I mostly vape more at home. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's, I don't know, we kind of had this discussion at Disneyland, but the idea of just nicotine, it doesn't matter, like, if I'm vaping or... No, I, I brought If I Zin, zin or zin if I snooze, at, like, yeah. that's all we did at Disneyland yeah. all day. I don't even remember a time when I didn't have a pouch in yeah. my mouth. And I actually liked the, what is it? The Swedish snooze. Yeah, yeah. the general snooze, the yeah. wintergreen. Yeah. So good. Because I used to it's dip. It's so good. I, you used like to dip? Like I told you, like I like going out camping and. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dip and fishing, dipping and, like, and dipping and dipping and dipping. Yeah, throw a fat wad in. Just dipping and yeah, dipping. Yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, here, here's an interesting fact that might blow your mind. Did you know that switching from combustible cigarettes to even Copenhagen long cut is almost as much harm reduction for your body yeah, 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 as yeah, quitting yeah, smoking yeah, yeah. altogether. Yeah. Yeah. That's unbelievable yeah, to me. It's crazy. That's unbelievable to me that it took me 46 years to learn that information yeah. as an avid nicotine enthusiast. It took me that long to learn that information yeah. that that's not just being broadcast everywhere. Right. You know, can't tell someone that this is less harmful than this. We have to demonize both of them equally. Yeah because addiction and nicotine. Right. But really, you could probably save someone's life by telling them to try chewing tobacco instead of smoking yep. cigarettes. Yep. Obviously, snus is better, nicotine pouches are better, vaping's astronomically better. But I just thought that was uh I just thought that was really interesting. General white pouches. General white, is that the uh the grape ones? There's grape ones that are not grape. I don't like the white pouches, I don't think. I like general extra strong spearmint and I like general wintergreen. And that's what I like. And that's what I like. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to start wrapping this up. We're going to vote for a very random liquid tasting. Okay? So we're going to move this. 
away. Oh, we need the camera camera. Okay, here's the thing. Let's put the chat down here for a second. Let's move this for a second. Oh, gotta put this away. Let's put uh, the camera back up here, you know, in its spot. Okay, and then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here. Whoa, ah. whoa, well, that was something I wanted to do completely. Hang on, you guys can't see these yet. <laughs> That's not for your eyes. I have to type these into the chat. So, oh, we need to address the poll that's currently in the chat. It, okay. I win. 54, Beecher wins. Yeah. Beecher wins. Yeah. We just needed to settle an argument, really. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to settle an argument. Uh, shout out to everybody that voted nacho cheese, sweet relish. That's the best way to eat a hot dog, hands down, no questions asked. Other condiments are boring. Beecher. Here, Random liquid testing. You can read the chat. Here we go. We got the chat on. White pouches sounds like a cherry pop and daddy song. <laughs> <laughs> spearmint over wintergreen. Yeah, spearmint rules. The spearmint, yeah, the spearmint's really good. Miracle Whip is disgusting. It's too sweet, Ern. Way too sweet. Okay. IMO. There's number one. Choice number one. Choice number two. <clears throat> Choice number three. Please vote in the chat literally right now. Don't make me sing the song. Okay, I'm going to sing this song. That's too loud. Sorry that that was so loud. Please vote. Please vote in the chat right now. If you don't go vote today, then you don't get to vote funky. Okay? I'm going to go pick out a Star Wars prize. Okay. And so just encourage people to vote. 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 <laughs> vote. 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 You know, let me clarify this uh, while he's gone. Let me clarify this poll that we had about the hot dog situation. I am a Chicago dog fan. Nick will never eat a hot dog with ketchup, mustard, and mayo on it. But at Disneyland, his favorite thing was cheese sauce and sweet relish. So those two together blows my mind that he finds mayo, mustard, and ketchup disgusting, but cheese sauce and sweet relish is his jam. What are we talking about? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What? Get out of the room. What are you talking shit? Why are you talking it's so fine. much shit on me? It's fine. It's whatever. It's not whatever. Are you guys voting? I'm talking bad. Vote, 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 vote. You vote. want me to teach you the voting song? Two. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote funky. <laughs> and then you throw on at the end, it's a celebration. Or you can say, dicks and masturbation. Oh my God. Kind of sounds the same. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote funky. Yeah, Chicago dogs have no ketchup. That's fine. It's a eat, a, eat a hot dog however you want it. it or you can, not at you all can only say no ketchup on a hot dog if you live in Chicago or New York. I feel like that has to be a rule. Uh, Juta cream and uh, white grape pineapple are really coming through. Grappy, no one seems to care about grappy. No one seems to care about grappy. Grappy is made by the same company that. Uh, came out with Boule Bolu with me. Uh, yeah, so you might want to rethink your voting. You <laughs> might want to... Oh, that's right. Damn it. I'm sorry, Sewer Rug. You can't say that. You can't say it's a celebration. I mean, I can. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote funky. 
And uh, so we're getting a lot yeah. of good options for a hot dog right now. Ketchup on a hot dog is great. Aussie hot dogs, Greek best in the world. Greek chili and onions. Only that sounds so amazing right now. Greek chili and onions. What's Greek chili? Apathy Miller, you killed it right there. 100%. What's Greek chili? Tell me what Greek chili is first before I get pumped. Google it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> hot dog with right. cheese and bacon, 100%. Potatoes, Greek chicken, Greek chili's not a thing. Sauerkraut, 100%. I'm all about the sauerkraut on a hot dog. Which one's winning? I still don't know what Greek chili is. Uh, oh, it's a close. It's close. Jutta cream is going to win here. Grappy, no, it's pretty close. 143 votes, let's get that up to 150. I don't know if that's gonna sway anything, but let's get that up for, to at least 150. Big Five, yeah. Big Five's getting to be quite the popular liquid brand. I'm excited to uh, try it at some point. They sent me like their whole the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, uh, we have two grape flavors. What? No, one of them's white grape pineapple. One of them's grapple. One of them's juta cream. Oh, is our face in the way of the of this one right here? No. Yeah, just put it right there. Just this? yeah, there we go. So everybody can see it. Yeah, vote where I am. <laughs> <laughs> White grape and pineapple. Sounds good. Yeah. Come on, you can't say that doesn't sound good. Two stone must go to fridge now. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feel. All right, all right, all right. Let's end the voting with 154 votes in the tally, 47%. Uh, we're going for the, is it pronounced Utah cream or Juta cream? I think it's, I, I think it's Juta cream. Juta? Yeah. Juta. Hold this, do not press the button on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to re-wick it. Did you install these? <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell? Because uh, it's poorly done? I even fiddled with them today. Hey. Now, this is a seven milligram. Okay. Seven. I'm fine with that. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do a little knuckle here. Here, knuckle me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. You know what that tastes like? What? It tastes like a... I'll tell you when we're, when, when we're muted. Let's just say it at the same time. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Banana peanuts. runs. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Yeah. Yep. Circus peanut. Load that up. Load that bitch up. That is actually wicked circus peanutty. I just want this. I just want my abita. <laughs> we not in focus anymore. That's right. I need to move closer so we can get in focus. But do you think this flavor is going to translate to vaping? We'll see. Look, we'll see. We gotta hurry up. We gotta. I know. Star Wars giveaway to do. I have a meeting to go to. We're doing. Uh... Oh wait, I know the answer to this. Here, though. I'm gonna actually text and see if I can get a few extra extensions. minutes. Yeah, just get get like 15 minutes extension. You know, 15 minutes extension. Uh, we got a super chat from Mike D. I'm just going to read it now. Yo, yo, guys, I'm out and about working, so I haven't caught much of the live, but I'll check the replay crew when I get home. By the way, the Empire is, in fact, solid AF. Mike D., you clearly have excellent taste in mods, excellent taste in devices. 100% I agree with you. Enjoy work. It's all good. I appreciate you hanging out, Mike D. I really do. Hey, Earn, Circus Survived Juturna. I think I might actually go get a Circus Survived tattoo. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Circus survive. Get out of here. As you have a fucking band member on your leg. Get out of here. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. That's sure is seven. Seventy? It's a little throaty. Little throaty on the X. What do you think of it? You know what we're going to do right now is we're going to, you know, we're take a gonna second. Sit, we're going to kick gonna back. back we're going to, you know, test this out. And that's yeah. what Grim...
Okay. Okay. Are we back in? Okay, we're, we're back. Circus peanuts. I get, uh, since Beecher said circus peanuts, I can't get that flavor out of my head. It tastes like circus peanuts to me. It tastes like a roasted circus peanut. Yeah, the you mentioned caramely. Yeah, the knuckle taste. Circus, circus peanut. peanut, yeah. Hands down. And this down. one has a little bit, maybe it's because we're actually cooking the circus peanut. Oh, so it's like a toasted yeah, we're circus, toasting peanut. The circus peanut. And no, oh. circus peanut is not a real food. Circus peanuts are delicious, though, and they're amazing. Candy corn is the worst ever, Earn. Now that I'm vaping this, I actually, I'm losing the circus peanut. Are you? Yeah. Nah. It's there. It's a mouthfeel. It's there. It's a mouthfeel. I feel yeah. the circus peanut all <clears throat> over my mouth. It tastes like circus peanuts and caramel. Yeah, It tastes yeah, like yeah. circus peanuts what and caramel. What does it say on there? Yeah. It just says... Looks like banana and milk. It's definitely a circus peanut. Hard. Caramel circus peanut. It says the flavor on this bottle. What? What is it? Read it. In English. In English? Read it. Chocolate banana. Nope. They're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chocolate in this. Shit. Now am I going to suddenly taste chocolate? That's the, probably like that, that deeper flavor that we're tasting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Instead of the caramel. But that's... That's like almost it's a, a really subtly standard chocolate. banana flavor from Indonesia. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Circus peanut? That that taste, that darker, the cooked banana. It's really good. It's just a throaty seven. It's like throaty seven. I have Earn, me and you, bro. Candy corn bros for life. I'm so down with candy corn. It's I wait. I just count the days until I can get the biggest bag of candy corn that exists. And then I don't just buy the candy corn. I buy the one with the pumpkins in it. Oh, the pumpkins. The pumpkins rule. Yeah, the pumpkins are... Uh, oh, I want it. the size so you get more. I eat the pumpkin in half. Is the Orion 2 valid? The Orion 2 rules. David, uh, did someone in Twitch ask that? Do I have Twitch chat on right now? Okay. I don't know if I had the Twitch chat on. Damn. This Sorry, I didn't, see the I didn't see any Twitch chats. I apologize. In fact, I didn't check any of the uh, hella chats if those came in, too. I don't think there was anybody hella chatting on uh, Twitch. Which I still don't know. Thank you for all the follows. Ringo Carr, thank you. Circus peanut. I taste caramel. It could be chocolate, but it tastes like circus peanuts. Dude, when I, when I discovered circus peanuts, it was like, why isn't... Why have these been kept from me? Yeah. You know? And I couldn't stop eating them. I'm the same way. I just consumed the whole bag. Anytime we'd go on a road trip with the family and we'd circus stop peanuts. at a gas station, get a big bag of circus peanuts. Why the are they so good? There's those it's still the texture. Exist? Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. Those still a thing? 100%. It's like a 300%. super stale marshmallow texture. But when you bite into it, it's like... Yeah, it does that. It sinks like you're like you're compressing a pillow or something. Yeah, and then you get that bite once you get to the very end. Snaps yeah. a little bit. Yeah, circus yeah. peanuts for go. days. We're gonna, go. We're gonna cut this off. We're gonna, We're gonna go, to gonna the gas go eat some circus peanuts literally right now. <laughs> All right, but here's the thing: Did you get an extension or do you have to leave? Uh, I haven't heard back yet. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just gonna dive into a. Uh, we're gonna dive into the last act of the vlog. And that is a uh, Star Wars giveaway. Okay. All right, what are the rules for this? So the rules are uh, you have to get your email fingers oh, ready. Okay. Get your email and fingers ready there, fam. Oh, this is such a good question. Get your email and fingers ready. I'm going to pop over here to contest. Okay. There it is. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to pop over here to contest at groomgreen.com. We got an assignment planet globe sent to contest at groomgreen.com. That's okay. We'll just leave that in there. Uh, you're going to email contest at groomgreen.com. If anybody wants to type that in the chat, I'll just throw it on the screen real quick to remind everybody. Contest at groomgreen.com. Now, with Addie Tooney. I can always rely on you, Addie Tooney. You're the, you're the, you're the addiest Tooney that I know. 
You're emailing contest at grimgreen.com. And the prize, this is a busting prize. Nick is getting to the age where he'll start loving Warther's candies too. <laughs> I love Warther's candies. Okay, look at this. Oh, what? Uh, you want a uh, collector's edition? Uh, that's fine. Han Solo frozen in carbonite. What? Anybody interested in this? Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah, you are. Because that's sick. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, the adventures continue with this Han Solo figure and carbonite block, realistically styled with incredible detail to recreate the action of this dramatic scene from Empire Strikes Back. The worst of the movies. The worst. <laughs> just kidding. By far. Just what a terrible, what a terrible Star Wars movie. Han Solo, he's got his, his chest open. That kind of looks like Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah. If he was in like a 70s porno. It kind of looks like if you asked look at AI how, to make Harrison Ford. Look at Ford. his chest muscles, though. It's They're gigantic. He looks like he's had chest implants. Whoever wins this, I want you to send me a picture of his chest when you take the shirt yeah, off. Yeah, take the shirt off. This has never been opened <laughs> out of the package. It's not in pristine packaging condition. This is designed to be opened and uh, played with. You I wonder know. if he fits in that block. Yeah. He should, right? I don't know. The face Okay, so this up. is the prize. This is the prize. Star Wars fans, this is something I'm sure that we all want. I'd like to keep this and display it in my house, but... It's going to be the hardest question ever. I'm running out of room. This is going to be a really hard question. Um, so we're going to go with a Beecher-themed Star Wars question. In fact, let's do it like this. <laughs> Where's the... Uh... Right there. Ready? Who is Beecher's favorite star wars character which may or may not be spelled correctly that's how who you spell is <laughs> who is beecher's favorite star wars <laughs> character uh please email me contest at grimgreen.com go. you're gonna win this sick thing go, go, look go, at go, this go, 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 go. you're gonna win this let's vote just keep going just get your answers in the first correct answer is going to be the uh the recipient the first correct answer okay Let's see if anything's come in yet. Swipe 19 tabs away. Uh, no, it's not Han Solo. It's not Yoda. It's not Jar Jar Binks. Keep those answers coming there. It's not Boba Fett. No one's going to get this. I think that nobody's going to get this. It's not Boba Fett. It's not Chewbacca. It's not Darth Maul. It's not Jabba the Hutt. It's not Boba Fett. It's not Chewbacca. It's not Darth Vader. It's not Darth Maul. It's not Ahsoka, it's not Han Solo, it's not uh, Death Battler, not Jar Jar, not Jar Jar, not Chewbacca, not Jar Jar, although you're in the right world. Not Obi-Wan, not Chewie, not J, not J Blaze, not J Blaze Coils, not Jabba, not Yoda, not Chewie, not uh, Turd Binks, <laughs> <laughs> not C-3PO, not Yoda, he, get, he gave you guys Skywalker, a hint right not there. Not Chewbacca. I don't know if you guys heard that. It's not Jar Jar Binks, but you're in the right area. It's not uh, Wicket. It's not Palpatine. Not Leia. Not Han Solo. Not Jar Jar Binks. Not Princess Leia. Not C-3PO. Not Bib Fortuna. It's definitely not Jar Jar Binks. The Ewoks. R2-D2. Solution. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, looks like nobody's winning this sweet ass Han Solo. I mean, uh, it's not Princess Leia. It's not uh, Crumb Stephen Lane. It's not the boss of Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not> <laughs> <laughs> Go to the planet's core. Yeah. <laughs> No, not C-3PO, not Padme, not BB-8, not Darth Sidious, not R2-D2, Jabba the Hutt, Jango Fett, General Grievous. Maybe no one's going to get this. Yeah, this one's... I don't know why we... I don't know why. It's not Boss Nass, but that is uh, Jar Jar's boss. 
Jar Jar's boss, don't know his name. Yoda, it's not Yoda, it's not Boss Nass, it's not Salacious Crumb, it's not uh, Princess Leher. <laughs> it's not R2-D2, it's not Padme or Padme or Padme, however Anakin says it, all the three different ways that he says <laughs> it. Padme, Padme, Padma, not any of those, not Qui-Gon. The people that said Jar Jar Binks, I think, got the closest. Yeah. It's not Qui-Gon, although you're in the correct area. You're in the correct area. It's not Mace Windu. It's not Lando Calrissian. It's not uh, the droid. Misa <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> thinks it's little Anakin. Nope. It's not little Anakin. It's not Anakin. Not big Anakin. Not Qui-Gon. Not Greedo. At least we're getting to some more obscure characters yeah. now. That's good. It's none of the main act. It's none of the main characters. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's not the Millennium Falcon. It's not Rugar Nos, the creator that had built the four light Cybots. General Grievous. Nope. Uh, it's not uh, the Millennium Falcon. It's not Watto, but you're getting closer. It's not Jango Fett. Oh my God! Holy in shit! How There's did somebody get it? Somebody got it. It happened. Oh my goodness! It gracious. happened. Wow! <clears throat> I didn't think anybody was gonna guess this. Uh, I am emailing back the winner at this very moment right now, but I want to take a second to oh look at to uh, to uh, to uh, to well yeah, you know yeah yeah uh, yeah, the yeah contest yeah. rules are the contest rules you got to email your answer to contest at grimgreen.com the winner the winner of the star wars contest you know her you love her it's our very own mallory gates mallory gates congratulations mallory gates the answer is sebulba fuck yeah sebulba how do you not love Saboba? He's got the weird legs. Yeah. And he's a pod racer. I liked his voice. Yeah. Yeah. He was kind of brutal. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was such Sebulba. a dick. He was such a <laughs> dick. I loved him. Love that. It was Saboba. It was Saboba. Yeah. It was Saboba. Congratulations. Damn, that was some good. Uh, that was some good Star Wars in right there. Let me tell you. Congratulations, Mallory Gates. I'm not even gonna read any other ones. All right. Let's see. Job of the Hut, Ahsoka, Spock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got Batman, Cad Bane. Uh, there was another Sebulba in there, but uh, I'm sorry, Mallory Gates was the first Sebulba. Congratulations, Mallory Gates. Yaddle. Holy shit, that's a deep cut. Yaddle. Yaddle is uh, Chewbacca's wife. Oh, wow. Yeah, deep cut right there. Deep cut. What, or was that one of his kids? His kids were named like Yaddle and Faddle or something. It was really bizarre. But congratulations, Mallory Gates. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mallory Gates. Beecher's favorite character in Star Wars. In yep. all of Star Wars. Nine movies, uh, infinite TV shows, animated series. Actually, it's Sebulba. Yaddle. <laughs> Who's Yaddle? Oh, y Yoda. That's Yoda's... Uh... A female being of the same species yeah, as yeah, Yoda. Yeah, sorry. I thought Yaddle was uh, Chewbacca's wife. Oh, way off. Yeah. I'm a Jeez. jerk. I'm a dick. Ugly. Yaddle? Yeah, look at that. You face. don't know that species. That could be attractive for that species. Well, not to me. Well, you're not that you're not a Yoda. Yeah, but yeah, but other Yodas find Grogu are like so good looking. Yaddle. Y'all seen Yaddle lately? Have you seen Grogu? Uh yeah, I've seen Grogu. Come in on. real life. Oh, really? Yeah, I met him. <laughs> <laughs> he was at Star Wars celebration. <laughs> yeah, and I, I met him. I met him. He's a hell of a nice whatever that species is. He's a hell of a nice whatever that species is. All right, you guys. Like, I think that's literally it. It's 736. Beecher has to get out of here. Yep. You have to do business things. Yep. You're okay. already late for your phone call. Yeah. Thanks, Beecher, for com no problem. <laughs> coming no, on the stream. Of course, yeah. Really appreciate yeah. it. <clears throat> okay, okay. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. He's a coil builder. That's all good. It's all good. Appreciate you. And uh, let's see. Krogu is a child.
<laughs> uh, we got one last super chat. We got to wrap up the sewer chat. We got to wrap up the uh, vlog with one last uh, super chat from Sewer Rug. Hell of a rad vlog. Grim and Turd makes a fun night indeed. Thanks for the laughs and hangs. Thanks for the laughs and hangs. Good people. Hashtag yo yo tendencies. Hashtag are bitter are, are better, better on Mex. Are better on Mex. But you wrote are bitter on Mex. Are you better bitter about Mex? Sewer rug. He's a bitter on. Mex. Yeah, we get the we do we either do green turd or we do grim turd. Grim I like turd. grim turd. Grim turd. Yeah. Grim turd's a good one, even though we've never collabed on anything except for airflow. With that T-shirt, we need still need. To I know one. we do. We eat sh- shit and go to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, eat shit and go to Disneyland <laughs> and make it all really death metal looking with, and, yeah. with weed leaves on it. <laughs> Eat shit and go to Disneyland. <laughs> We're gonna make a Grim Turd T-shirt. You yeah, have to make a Grim Turd I think T-shirt. So. Eat shit and go to Disneyland yeah. is the the best thing to put on a T-shirt. Yeah, I could. I love this so much. I love this so much. All right, you guys. Hey, hey. Thank you for uh, for being here for coming to hang out in the vlog. Despite dangle clacks, despite out of focus cameras and dying cameras yeah. and weird audio and. Uh, this you know thank you really truly appreciate it i love the vlog you guys you know i do and i like being here every week with you guys and uh yeah that's all you want to say anything beach you want to say i'll see you next time yeah he'll be he'll be back around you you know again it's beach this isn't the end of this is never no (laughs) i'll be here he'll be here he's gonna come back eat shit and go to disneyland you know always a blast always a blast always feature thank you for being here and uh we're going to go, uh, he's going to go do some business. We're going to go do some hangs. I'm going to walk the dogs and then we'll, uh, we'll hang out with the yo-yos and, and I'll see you guys. And, uh, I don't have an outro anymore. So the official outro has become Omboy OC singing me a voicemail. He believes he can fly. So, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for like half the fun of the stream comes from you guys in the chat. And I just want to call that out that you guys are a vital part of this stream and it wouldn't be as fun as it is honestly without you. Yeah. Don't forget to cheese your jelly, milk your nightcap, powder your patio furniture, eat shit and go to Disneyland. You know, Fuck yeah, that's just where it is. So peace out you guys. Big love. Be excellent to each other. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky any time of year. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I believe I can fly.